This as well. So, hello, everybody. How is everyone doing? So, hello. Ooh, I'm hearing myself. So, yeah, we're going to be doing some Cal Friends. Has the changes to Cal Friends and the Empire specifically. Is it going to be enough to save the other side against all the threats that are within the Empire? Today we're going to decide and find that out. Um, so join us along with this journey. So yeah, friends, Legendary Very Hard is what we always play. And Shiro, good to see you, buddy. Uh, so let's jump in, folks, eh, shall we? Yeah, welcome, everyone. Appreciate all of you guys. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Dimothy. Hey, Mons Chief. Who calls? I do, Jora. Welcome, bud. Uh, and uh, uh, Scott, I've managed to fix the bot. Dizzy, good to see you again. Congrats on the first redeem. They will obey, they will indeed. You Marathi intro is 10 out of 10. I know, right? I had to put that in there in a video for the boys. What I'll do is upload a video of all of the intros that have changed with audio as well. Uh, I want to make sure there's audio in there as well because of the fact that... Uh, yeah, I'm conscious. Someone commented on the YouTube video and was like, make sure to do audio next time. And I was like, that's such a good point. Uh, because I almost never take the game audio for videos. Uh, but, you know, obviously, I'm uh, I'm one fella. I'm, I'm still learning myself, so always open to constructive criticism. And, oh, but you, good to see you. Serpent, good to see you. A day for the DLC when we work in time. Uh, theory is the 30th of April, right? That's the theory going around with certain code websites and stuff. Which dwarf uh, best now, in your opinion? Uh, for the free, free LC stuff specifically, uh, is that what you mean for the free LC stuff specifically? Thorgrim probably for the if you just talk about the free LC stuff, uh, easy upgrade on Arthur straight away. So obviously, friends does have some wee bit differences uh, regarding stuff. They don't have perfect vigor anymore. Do they get it via tech, or is it completely going red serpent? Good question. We'll learn that together, my friend. We can have a little look ski. Uh, so if we go into Steam Tank. Um, so not seeing perfect vigor here. But ballistic plating is huge. So what's in the uh, certain location of Helmgart? Uh, liking it so bad, but yeah. Slow walking, buddy. Not playing Dowie. You don't see him, your ancestors, Dowie brethren. Now we're not playing the dwarves today. Uh, but when my when the when the embargo drops, Andreas, my opinion will change. Keep in mind. But yeah, I'm a big fan of everything that's happening. They confirmed uh, 30th being the release date. Okay, I always have to be very careful what I say. And hey, CA, yeah, good to see you, buddy. Honestly, I'm gonna be playing dwarves a lot. With the things incoming, I am a big fan of what I'm seeing. Although the annoying thing is, on the embargo, I'm going to be away. I'm going to be away for two days during the embargo drop, which sucks. I will not but it is what it is. It is what it is. What do you bid? Right. Free record a stream? Honestly, I generally thought about that. But I don't know how, I don't know what the rules are around that. I'm not sure if I'm allowed. Uh, so starting off with the great swords in your army is quite nice. Men of the Empire! For Sigma and Heldenhammer! Played uh, Franz, first of the game. <laughs> yeah, Fra uh, the Thorgrim was my very first campaign, but I played a lot of Cal Franz's campaign. Love them. Uh, I do. I am a very big fan of Cal Franz. The passive AI, what in respects to the AI being just like doing nothing for ages. Um, yeah, I would say so in a lot of ways. On the campaign map specifically, they definitely seem a lot more aggressive. Uh, but in battles, a certain jank and weirdness still going on there. I think it might be frowned upon. Yeah, like a rerun stream. Yeah. I don't know if people would want that. Uh, how do you acquire it as Gelt? Uh, through the tech tree. Good question. You would uh, you get the unit specifically for the tech tree. 
Uh, so Gelt doesn't do it traditionally like uh, Gelt, uh, Franz does. Uh, he does it through the tech tree now. Oops, I clicked on the wrong dude. See the spearman over there? This is the first year of the ball. Probably in the wallet. Can't wait to play it. So yeah, yeah, honestly, they've done a fantastic job. With all the actual... With, the thing that surprises me the most is all the free stuff they've put in. The dwarves getting uh, update too, right? Yeah, Virgin Slim, there's a huge... I've made a YouTube video um, discussing all the changes in relation to uh, what's happened for the Dowie. And I've done, a, I've done one specifically for Ungrim as well today. A lot of really good stuff happened. A lot of really good stuff. Uh, Lampship's going to replace Steam Tanks in the Empire Doom Stack. I can't talk about uh, uh, DLC units, unfortunately, just yet. Not allowed to talk about any of the DLC units just yet. When the embargo drops, I will be happy to have conversations. No, you don't need to apologize. Sorry. Right. I just got to be very careful. And Vapen, thanks for following me. I got to be very careful about what I say and don't say, right? Would you consider the Dowie uh, changes a buff or a nerf? Oh, man. 100% a buff. Like, it is an insane buff to the to the dwarves. It's probably one of the they they will become one of the strongest factions. IMO. I think uh, the dwarves probably are going to become one of the strongest factions in the game at the moment, with the things that they have. The nation calls. The nation doesn't call, indeed. Dwarves needed a buff. I really don't think dwarves needed a buff. The dwarves needed the dwarves needed variety, and they needed. Um, purpose because they, they they've often just felt like a faction that doesn't belong within warhammer fantasy it's probably easy to say because they play very akin to historical titles right now they're being given stuff that and mechanics that really really makes them stand out endorses like they're actually being given stuff that makes them stand out now instead of just kind of a historical faction almost you know you know, front to back, shooting them with crawlers, kind of very simple and akin to what you'd expect in a, a historical title. Can we for modders to get their hands on the new toys? Oh yeah, man, modders going to do a great job. I'm excited. Why can't people talk about the DLC units in YouTube videos, but not streams? Um, I think potentially because they are possibly, you know, really taking the mickey with the embargo. Because there's, there's certain different ways you can do stuff within the embargo. And it's sort of like lawyering, lawyering the answers and stuff. Every crate is different, right? I just don't want to run the risk of breaking embargo. As I've signed an NDA and stuff like that, you know? Just doesn't seem worth to dance that tune kind of thing. Because it's I know you're allowed to show off the DLC units if in the context of a multiplayer battle. And or I fight an army that has the multiplayer units in it. But you got to remember, like, within a multiplayer battle, it's so unbelievably easy to set up a battle where you can see the DLC units. But in campaign, it's it's like so hard. Like, it takes a long time, right? It takes a long time until you find something that's DLC related. So in that regard, I do think it's a little bit unfair, but I'm sure they'll change it in due time. All right, let's go murder the uh, archers now. Let's do the pew pews. Interpretation of the law, yeah. I mean, you can't even blame them either, right? As a content creator, you would do what you need to do to make cool videos, right? Because you got to remember that all creators that make content on this game are excited about it, right? You know, you wouldn't get to the position where you're a content partner if you didn't enjoy the game and you did it just for money. You know, it's a it's a case of people really are really do love this game. You know, folks are in, folks are excited to show it off, and so if we get new tools to show off, you want to show them off as soon as you can. So, I'm not, I think creators aren't to blame there in that respect. You know, we're just dudes that are excited to play the game. And thanks for all the follows, guys. Appreciate it. You know, we're just dudes that want to play the game. Nice. Just need to keep cycle charging. I got to the point where I used to be able to do Cal Franz's. Um, wait, Franz has Terra? Is that from an item? It must be for an item. Yeah, I, I used to be able to do all of Franz's battles without losing units, but... I mean, I, I have played far too many Carl Franz campaigns, in fairness. Franz would probably be my second most played. I'm pretty sure Franz is, like, my second most played. 
Whereas the dwarves, no, it'd be the top three. Right, guys, what's your top three? What's your top three most played factions? Not necessarily your most liked factions, but your most played. Because mine's actually quite an interesting list. My most played factions is, is actually a relatively weird list. So from a from a from a faction perspective, it's probably dwarves, empire, Norska. I think is my top three. But for the actual legendary lord themselves, it would be, um, it'd probably be Grombrindle, I would say. Then it would be Franz, and then it would probably be Wolfric. If I had to do Legendary Lords. My hands were tied and I had to do Legendary Lords, it'd be that. Let's make sure to kill all these guys. Fain Chances, Thorgrim, and Tyrion. So very much an Order Tide like me. Then again, Wolfric's not exactly Order Tide, is he? Emperor, Karl, Franz. <laughs> I love that answer. Uh, I love that answer. Orcs Empire. Wars of Chaos, Dreiter and Dowie. Nice. Love that. Dreiter is nutty. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Hi, Elves. Wait, you didn't mention Delariel, Jora. Yours would be Katarin, Elariel, and probably Franz. That would be your top three. Katarin, Elariel, Franz. You can figure out Ikit. Gelt, Franz, Ikit. I... Maybe it's just me, but I don't like Ikit as much anymore. I think him... I think Ikit Claw in general in Warhammer 3 is definitely not as strong as 2. Like, there's, like he used to be, like, so... Like, it was out of this world what he was like in 2. Like, he was just... There was nothing remotely close to how powerful Ikit Claw was, but now there's a lot of things that are definitely up to his level. Kugath, Krokgar, and Ikit. Ooh, nice. Do you, do you like the buffs that Krokgar got? He got some really, really nice uh, buffs... Fairly recently, not too too long too long ago. Fairly recently, he got quite a lot of buffs. The like dwarves being on the strong side is good for them. Agreed, completely. The AI usually dies very quickly. The only thing that I don't want to have to... Uh, the only thing I don't want is that the dwarves have a massive order tide. Alright, let's have a look at this mechanic again. So we can summon the elect accounts. We've got L, Elspeth... Von Draken, right next to us, gives us the Emperor's steam tank with the bi-directional missile blocking. 70% block chance. I will. Who calls? Who calls? So, all right. Wait, can I kick him out? Revoke the title. That's pretty savage. Oh, nice. They've taken Marienburg... They've made it Empire Region, but obviously the, Marienburg did actually leave the Empire. They are not part of the Empire anymore. So it's good that that's reflective in here. I'm going to buff my units. Franz is not that strong in himself. Oh, nice. Leader of Men. Elector State Troop. Pool capacity plus one, which is cool. I think some of these... Yeah, Unbreakable, Passive Vigor, Majestic Enforcer. Some of these are a little different. Ooh, bonus of inventory, great swords. It's all encapsulated into one, which is nice. Recruit rank and all that kind of gubbins. So not a crazy amount of changes for Franz in his tech, in his skills specifically there. But I know the uh, electoral machinations are the main thing for him. Confederate target level 10. So fealty of all elector accounts. Interesting, so if you do confederate, it, it hinders your ability on other ones. So you, you are, in actual fact, nerfed as part of doing that. Uh, what I normally like going into... Ooh, 10% range is quite nice. I think the tech has definitely got some good stuff in it. Campaign movement range is not a terrible thing to go into. Did Death Ball get more HP? Let's have a look. Let me hover over it. No, 6.7k seems about right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hold on. Spears in our tier 1 unit. That's huge, actually. 
Yo, that's... Yo, that's huge. Spearman... This was always tier 2, wasn't it? The Spearman with shields being a tier 1 unit now is big. That is a big quality of life. Rest in peace to Spearman, though. You literally will never use them now. Unshielded was tier 1. Yeah, Unshielded was tier 1. Tier 2 is tier... You know, Shield is tier 2. Yeah, that's, that's a big quality of life change. Is it time? That is a really big quality of life change. Love to see that. Oh, you st yeah, you sat with Helmgar. I don't like that. The only reason I don't like the fact that you sat with Helmgar is it was really easy to get experience from this. Can you declare war on them without any issues? Pretty sure you probably can. Yo, Joachim, it's going well. How are you, bud? Ooh. Some delicious money in the ocean. Some delicious money. The Lord is Mike Morgo quite a bit. Is an 8 damage per AoE. Oh, yeah. Morgo's really cool. I'll never forget the time where I watched somebody... Uh... Ah, range as well. That's crazy. I watched somebody basically route an entire dwarven army just by floating above them. It was quite interesting. Back in my day, it's take Helm Gat. You did. I mean, it makes sense that the fort does, is within a Carl Franz's regime because... It'd be very unrealistic to expect them to do it. Like, you wouldn't expect the Rebellion to take a fort over. Why is Solon locked, Michael? I'll have a look in a sec, buddy. I'll have a look in a sec, lad. That's pretty huge. I couldn't agree more. That's what my girlfriend says. <laughs> uh, anywho, moving on. The only thing that's going to suck uh, is... Regarding these secessionists, you're gonna... Yeah, there's less battles to have. Uh, normally, Carl Franz really does do well within, with while having more battles. Thankfully, it, it feels like Marienburg might just be the way to go. Maybe they might attack it. Oh, of course, classic RNG wizard still. So we do have, a cla we do have an RNG wizard still, yes. which is interesting. It's such a weird thing that you have a DLC unit literally right next to Franz. Uh, we'll go Emperor's Finest because obviously these Spearmen will really become strong. We already have enough damage. One of the smartest things you can always do once you get this mage coming through is steal the tech to try and get them leveled up. We only th uh, bust a Throg Dispatch. I'll have to check it out, buddy. I'll make sure to make a note of it, though. Nice. Free level. And then we'll go some more Spearmen. So my Imperial Authority is okay-ish. Alright. Alright, I'll do a challenge. The very first person to type Hans Frankenwerter, I'll name you after the wizard. Whoever's fastest can be can be named my wizard. You gotta type it right, though. Okay. Bloody hell on sheep, lad. He is. He's always on it, isn't he? He is. He's on. He's on it. He's. He's not messing around today. He is not messing around. I command here. All right. It seems that that's all I can really do. Oh, yesterday in fairness, now you weren't either. I had to pump all the empire piece of newer players. Yeah, honestly, impact. Imperfect. That's a really good perspective. Honestly, I didn't quite think about it like that, but it makes a lot of sense. By lowering the barrier of entry to help people learn Carl Franz, since I think he's the first one that they recommend now. Uh, I think they recommend uh, Carl Franz as a campaign. Like, it's the very first campaign you'll see um, when you load the game up, if I'm not mistaken. As it's the very first defaulted campaign, so it makes perfect sense for them to do that. Who calls? No peace, just war. Fight for our nation. Wow, there's a mortar in here. Ulrich's will, magic hunt. Um, I don't think we can steal it. So many elect accounts are operative, exactly. Normally, you can steal mortars from other empire factions, but we'll see if it works. Catherine Syrian and Mayoring are recommended as first um, campaigns for the game. But when you load up the game, Clicking to Immortal Empires, it goes to France first, right? 
What a tattoo they are indeed. Mm -hmm. They are indeed. Still these mortars are campaigns GG. Nah, honestly, you can make them tattoo now. You can make them tattoo super easily. Right. So with them with them having mortars themselves. What we're gonna do? Odds of sealing it? I think ten percent. I think ten percent. How's the Empire enduring so far? So good. This is not even corner camping. This is taking elevation. This is leveraging elevation like a smart player would. It's a lot more than 10%. I don't think it is. Like, most of the time when you're doing it, like, it's I, it's very rare that I actually end up getting the, the steal of them. I thought it was around 10. Okay, nice. We can just cheese the ammunition to the mortar if they're gonna if they're gonna shoot friends here. Which I'm happy with it. Was the voice lines added for friends? Good question. Um, I've not played friends like crazy amounts, but so far there's been I think there's I think there's more diplomacy lines and stuff. I think there's a lot more diplomacy lines interacting with uh, with other factions and stuff. This army is actually not that weak at all. Although I I don't understand why they're just the artillery is shooting Carl Franz. Because normally the, the way the AI interacted with that was they would shoot monstrous infantry or they would shoot monstrous esque stuff. As I'm as mirrors mine, it really does heavily mirror a lot of my composition. You're not wrong. Also got content creator look on my side, so I'll probably get the mortar. I mean honestly, content creator look is real. I'm not gonna lie. It is a thing. As as I pattern it, the streamer look. Mm -mm. But coffee, welcome. We'll have one tied to the Empire. Yep. Content create a look. How many times have we tried for the Jade Wizard? That is true. That was the, the one time I create a look, wasn't there? Yeah, basically for context regarding the, con the Jade Wizard. I did a no loss... Uh, no money spend Carl Franz campaign in Warhammer 2. And I think it took me over 100 attempts to get a Jade Wizard. Hey, single, it goes well. How are you, buddy? Yeah, it took me 100 quest battles to get the Jade Wizard before. Because now you didn't get the Jade Wizard through Aaron, like just getting him at level 2. You used to have to do a quest battle for it. Was it not because you, uh, you could just get it? Wait, why couldn't I get it, Scott? I couldn't remember. I remember I got it my first time true, so it's so bad, yeah. Thanks to put plus, yeah, you don't work on a Saturday so you can get those mortars. I mean, sometimes, you know, we're on that grind set. Gotta get the mortars in there. I always thought the chance uh, to steal was lower than, uh, than that, more like 5%. No, I think it is around 10%. I think it is, uh, I'm pretty sure it is around 10%. Clan session was uh, hell divers. Oh, nice singular. I love me some hell divers. I need to do another sesh. We'll need to do another community session with hell divers. That was good fun. I enjoyed that last time we did it. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is just take the hill here and just start firing down upon them. Now the mortars run out of ammo. Might as well just yoink this hill for my own. Elevation is so unbelievably overpowered, right? People really underestimate the power of what elevation can do for your army. So, okay, let's do some, let's crunch some numbers, boys. If I were to tell you, what's the percentage of increased damage you have having elevation like here, right? How much more damage is my guys doing shooting from up on this hill? Let's get some numbers, boys. And how much, what's the percentage of damage I take less? So, elevation, you also take damage, you do more damage and you take less damage. So on maximum elevation, what's the percentage? When you're on the max elevation, what is the percentage of additional damage and the reduced damage you take? 30 pug cent. I like that, Pugwa. You didn't study for the test? Well, as your teacher, Monstreet, um, you failed the class. 
But in fairness, your answer was right. Uh, it's 30%. So 30% is the number that increases your damage, but also decreases the damage you're taking. So when you see me kind of take elevational points like this, it's huge. Like, it is almost a must, right? And plus, you gain leadership bonuses, too. Uh, if you have, like, flank secured and you have the high ground, you get quite a hefty leadership bonus as well. So there's just there's just so much value to it that you should always ensure that you're doing it. Like, it is a, a thing that you should always guarantee you're doing. You know? I remember uh, it was one of my first videos on Warhammer 2, it just demonstrating the sheer effectiveness of it, and it was it even blew my mind. Think of tier 2 handgunners, iron drakes, and thunderers. Ruins, crossbows, tier progression. I'm personally a, good, a big fan of enabling units like that earlier on, because you got to keep in mind, handgunners and thunderers aren't good in sieges, for the most part, right? Crossbow and corollas will always be significantly better within a siege scenario, uh, but having them in la in land battles is really good fun. It is really good fun. So Obi-Wan was right. Obi-Wan was indeed completely correct, my friend. Send you to melee. Oh, if you want to go melee, I'll do that. Hopefully you don't, hopefully you don't die. Happy for the Dwarf campaign. Uh, is it paused? Yes, it is at the moment. We'll carry on either the Ungrim campaign or the Thorgrim campaign. Depends which of you guys wanted. Depends which you guys preferred. We'll do a vote in the Discord, most likely. I mean, you asked for it, Mons Chief. This is not me. This is not me. I mean, you are very squishy, so you're going to die really quickly. You're going to die pretty quickly, so... Charging straight into greatswords? Yeah, it's because it's, it's because of Mons Chief's is named. It's This is just a meme, right? This is just a pure meme. It's Mons Chief's fault. He's, uh, it's named after chat, and so I've just sent him in. It's not my fault. Do you know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't, I don't want this to happen. I didn't ask for this to happen, but... Just Mon's Chief's were asking for it, basically. A terrible fate? Aw, oh, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Did he even ask? You did? Your, the language in which you spoke, the tone you had, asked for it, Mon's Chief, trust me. Didn't he say, I hope he doesn't charge me into melee? Yeah, that's like, it's reverse psychology, do you know what I mean? He was using reverse psychology on us. I read between the lines, Mon's Chief, don't worry, buddy. I, I read between the lines for you, pal, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, see, there you go, guys. It's all about reading between the lines. It's it's the uh, it's the things that that aren't said that are the most important, you know. Oh, shoot, it is kind of working. Oh, it 100% is. It 100% is. Never underestimate the power of just delaying uh, the AI getting to you. Never underestimate it, boys. I should move these guys a little bit further. Tier zero halberds like Kislev though. Yeah, it is kind of funny if they can. Yeah, these mortars do need to be fired. Because if you hold alt right now, they should be really accurate, but they're not. There's no way he dies, surely. There's no way he dies, surely. So the nice thing about the cavalry is we've split up so many of our units. With them shooting uphill, like, any time a unit is shooting uphill, uh, the damage is reduced by quite a lot as well, actually. I think elevation works in the opposite way as well. Spears with shields, tier 1. Yep. Tier 1, indeed. Alright, I'm on see if you kind of failed the side there, but that's alright, buddy. Kind of let the side down here, pal, but that's all nice. Friends absolutely crushed hands here, which is good. Monchief's tactical retreating. No, he's just aggressively moving in the uh, opposite direction. On par with uh, Ikit, Charles and Vampire. This is the best gunpowder faction. It's an interesting question. Uh, probably not now. I wouldn't. I wouldn't consider Vampire as a good gunpowder faction though. They've been nerfed too much. IMO anyway. Like from my personal experience, I honestly think they've just been nerfed too much to be considered uh, in the in like the top three for gunpowder factions. Like, 
They used to be really strong in Warhammer 2, don't get me wrong, but I think they've just been nerfed too much. Alright, let's just charge through here and we'll be fine. God, I love cavalry. I goddamn love cavalry. We're just ignore ignoring the handgunners for now. We have no reason to fight them. Hello, darling. Come here. Come here. Hello. Here's my puppa, folks. She's back. Hey, little baby. Hey, little puppa. Morning. What's up, darling? Hey. What's up? What's up? All right. Good job. Yeah, she's a bit excited. She's been, uh... She's been at doggy daycare, so she's been running around all day. She's been absolutely sprinting around all day today. They call her the Flash when she goes to doggy daycare. Because she just runs so much. <laughs> she's called the Flash. Right. Probably shouldn't have zoomed those guys out of there. It's a shame we didn't have death magic, because other excuse me, uh, flock of doom. Then we could have looked into stacking them up a bit more. Make sure the cavalry is chasing them all. We'll re re redo the lines here now. Might want to start shooting over here, actually. Now, the weird thing is the AI doesn't actually chase units that are routing. They no longer chase units that are routing. I don't know if that's just a, a thing that happens because of legendary. Uh, but yeah, they don't really chase units that are routing. This is a settlement. Since they're on skirmish mode, we'll easily be able to catch up to them. Yeah, there you go. Alright, Mon Chief, good on you, lads. <laughs> With our broken thin badges, it may as well be uh, Dwarf being top three now, yeah. I've not really checked them out yet, but I imagine they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. Right. Love me some yogurt. Guys, what's your favorite snacks? Like, if you're sitting on your computer, playing games, chilling out, what's your go-to snack? And Mr. Ray Star, thanks for the gift of sub, man. I appreciate it. And you want to, the pointy shooties, sure. Uh, probably not worth loot and occupying. Bring me to my men. Although saying that, if you loot and occupy every settlement, by the time you get Einhardt, you'd be able to get a... Um, or Einhardt, you'd be able to get a Rebellion, so get more experience. So, look at this. 48 melee defense already. It's crazy for not a, not a teared up using it. Water. That's your favorite snack when you're chilling at a computer. That's like the most missionary answer that I've heard for a snack, my friend. Come on. What about like chocolate or something? So ice cream. Yeah, some ice creams. You've got jerky in there, crisps. Hawaiian roll. Yeah, there you go. It's like, I love water, don't get me wrong. But it's not, yeah, it's not, I wouldn't consider it a snack. Okay, here we go. Water. Yes, I'm a Yorkshireman. I'm an English fella. I do say water, all right? Bottle of water. Maybe different from other people. That's a, a bottle of water. Water. You guys may not have, might not have spoken to folks that uh, speak like a Yorkshireman like myself. Oh, I mean, in fairness, my name is Harry, so I used to get called Harry Potter. But, um, I sound nothing alike, Men, as I'm not posh. You've got to be Some down south to be posh. Counts. When you live down south, it's when you're posh. Hey, Benjamin. 
No teas in England because they drank it all? I like that. That's good. I mean, offense, I am drinking tea right now. This mug does have tea in it at the moment. That's my Dowie voice is on point. Uh, to die in battle. Uh... You the best, no you? Make a cup of tea yourself, nice. Right. Just wanted to make sure that we're not going to lose a ton of units on the auto resolve here, so. A nice cheeky little swift victory here should be fine. Mons Chief, do you want to go in battle again? Would you like to frontline again? No more? So I'm reading between the lines again. You want to go frontline again? Okay, I got you. You don't have to ask me twice, bud. You don't have to ask me twice. I mean, it's going to be one of those things where, for the meme, purely, it's going to be funny if you do perish in-game, in-game. Right, nice. We're getting them to stack now. Nice. Good damage. I'll miscast you to death. No, as long as I don't overcast, you're fine. As long as I don't overcast, it's not possible to miscast. It ain't possible to miscast if you don't overcast. Because, thankfully, this is not SFO. SFO has it where you can miscast uh, on normal casts. As they want to nerf magic. Alright, let's move around this general as well. Always be careful in that scenario because... It's very easy to, uh, to not get maximum DPS onto units. Because you can see right here... You want to make sure that every single unit is surrounded. The uh, it is surrounding them. So make sure every unit is surrounding. Oh, and Mr. A Star, what's your YouTube name? It's Mr. A Star as well, right? So if you, if you want to be modded on uh, YouTube as well, let me know. Let's just shoot the gem. It'll be easier to kill him. Yeah. Instead of just dancing around with inventory, sometimes it's a bit meh. Did you take the Slayer Oath? What, me in game? I've sort of uh, shaved a bit too much of my head to be the Slayer. Maybe an Irish Mohawk I could pull off, but not a uh, not a traditional Mohawk. If you're wondering what an Irish Mohawk is, it's it just you shave the middle of your head. That's YouTube. Okay, there you go. Uh, I'm going to add you as a mod. Boom. There we go. Ungram is bald. His mohawk is, his crown, is on his crown. True. True. I mean, it's more because his head's been hacked off. Uh, and he's just been in so many battles. I uh, On the Ungrim stream we did yesterday, I showed the curse knowledge. I showed the curse knowledge of Ungrim having no hair. He's beautiful. Question's not answered. Sorry, uh, Jeter. Make sure to at me. Uh, I answered uh, regarding the big change to the Empire factions. I haven't played them that much, uh, GSA, so I wouldn't know. Although the main stuff that I do know is the elect accounts. You can summon elect accounts to get uh, units. Um, only, um, yeah, you can summon all of the elected units, I believe, and have like a doom stack. And then this elector blah blah blah. You can start doing certain specific tasks and um, decrees, which massively help. Wait, targets faction fealty plus two. Can't be used on your own. Spawn an, enemy, an army. Wait, hold on, that's plus two. What's the cooldown on this? Five turns? Wait, so you're telling me if I did this, I can then unify them? I see no other option. Bring I see no bed. other option. Well, let's find the option. Uh, let's go into... Honestly, mortars. I like the idea of mortars and then growth. Generally, the tier 2 upgrade isn't as good as it was. Because you don't really need crossbow when you got mortars. It's a weird one, that one. It is a weird one. We'll go straight to tier 3. Chuck in the growth. Where'd you go now? I'm guessing you just murder Marenberg. Wow, yeah, they really hate you now. Guess it makes sense. Also, we didn't get the streamer luck. We didn't get the we didn't get the mortar, by the way. Confirmed. I do not have streamer luck. 
Confirm no stream alone. Did they move a guilt starting spot? Yeah, Patty Mir. I um he starts in Cathay. I did a video on Cathay on Gelt getting a tier five cheese. You can basically get Altdorf tier five before like turn twenty as Gelt now. It's very broken. So if you want to check that out alongside uh, like a little bit of a guide to his early game, you, you can see the uh, one of the tubers I made. Um. Only having one mortar does suck a little bit. They have like 200 novels. Yeah, the Gotchik and Felix books are really good. For the show, they like to count. Um, I think that's going to happen no matter what. One of the things that I often learned was you shouldn't invest energy trying to defend the Empire because it's going to happen no matter what. The Empire's going to get crushed no matter what you do. And there's not much you can do. Hey, Paven. There's generally not much you as a player can do to stop that from happening because they always just get destroyed no matter what. Like, me going towards the north would not have stopped this, right? I don't have much late game units. Well, the DLC kind of fixes that, but you have access to tier 1 spin with shields now, which is nice. Well, let me check something. How good is Emil von Corden's army to begin with, guys? Odds on, can I win this fight if I try? It's cavalry focused early on. The new Dwarf, uh, dwarf Legend Lord. Uh, next week. Uh, limit test time. Time to limit test, boys. Oh, wow, his army's actually really good. Ooh, that's no good. That is niche so good. Uh, if we get lucky and find out where he's coming into the battlefield, it's the reason why we attack this guy, then we'll probably have a chance. Mm -mm. Hey, curious. Yeah, Knights of the Blazing Sun is a pretty difficult unit to go against, but I've got a lot of spearmen. We have a lot of anti-large. I mean, the only thing... Them being here is not too bad. If I deploy here, run all the way down, set the mortars up, and then completely block them off from entering, we might have a good chance here. Because you got to remember is I can only... Um, I can keep them from the battlefield quite well. Plus, they're capped at 40 units. So we'll see. Why take them when there's so many greenskins to kill? I would rather take a province. Ooh, this, this could be really dirty. They, I wonder if they're going to come through here. Hangun is sitting here, shooting down. is going to be huge. Although it's going to be impossible to get to that point, though. That's really sucky. The, eleva the terrain is making it impossible for me to get there in time. Because going up elevation consumes so much more fatigue. I didn't quite calculate it for to be like that. But... If I just move over here... And then, as long as my wizard gets over there, Mon's Chief gets a couple cheeky flock of dooms off. Should be okay. Seth fighting in this, uh, the woods. Yeah, it'll reduce their melee attack by 20%. But the problem there is, I won't be able to get, like, the value from my mortars and the hangers in the trees. So if I can try my best to stop them from moving, and I can basically blob them up over here, I can flock of doom value like crazy. Because you can, if you just look at how small this terrain is... I think that's my best chance. Brand is actually on a mount, which will help too. Okay, so it looks like you can't go here either. So they're going to be all trapped into this corner. Unless they spawn... No, I think they're all going to be trapped in this corner. Does the flock of have a max number of hit units it can hit? No, it's it's it can hit anything in, the, in its own circle. Anything within the circle can be impacted. Had a flame wizard? Yeah. No, honestly, flock of doom is probably the best wizard for me here. Like, not even joking. But you'll see here, my units will take a long time to get up here now. Annoyingly. I'm just trying my best to try and organize this. Because this is impassable terrain. I would, I'm going to doubt they'll come out from here. It'll all be from this little blob. Uh, whenever my mortar has, a, has range as well, I'll just start shooting, I think. I'm going to have to. 30 seconds. This guy's going to be useless. I'm not bothered about him. Uh, and then we'll just do flock stacks. 
I am going to overcast it. It's worth the overcast's risk. Wait, 100% miscast chance. Why? Oh, because of the warrior priest. Absolute turd. So I can't overcast now. But I kind of am going to have to the second these guys come in. Ah, uh, Mon will tank it. It's fine. You'll be alright, pal. Just depends on the units that come in straight away. So if I'm not mistaken, they'll all come in from this side. If I can charge in, it should, in theory, stop more units from coming on the battlefield, allowing me to actually um, get deployed. And we can shoot through here. And I shoot up here as well. I need to overcast the flock, even though it's going to miscast me. It's going to be so much damage, it's worth it. Come on, boys. We need to get over there. Should be insane damage with the mortars as well. Let me ult right click right here as well. I don't mind the units dying. It's just we need to make sure that we're actually getting to a position where we can actually, actually punish here. Let's go over here. Let's blob up if we have to. Hangunner should be able to shoot down here, and Franz will tear out anyone that's close to him. Advance. You jerks. Please don't go to my mortars. Oh, thank god, the AI is stupid. That could have been so bad if they ran away to my mortars. I'd, been, I'd have been doomed. Can you reach? Please tell me you can reach. Another overcast. Another, another normal cast. Normal cast is more efficient from a, from a uh, value perspective. Um, we just need to terror out, terror, terror route them off the battlefield and just kill as many as we can now. In some ways, terror routing is is not helping us here. Can we get shots off? Come on, we should have range, but we just don't have the elevation. Annoyingly, really sucks in that respect, but it is what it is. My cavalry has done so much work here. Now the mortars are shooting in here, because they've got levels on them, right? Their accuracy is increased by quite a lot. It's one of those things where it's in, it's extremely important to take advantage of your, you know, what you as a, what you in the battle has, uh, that's better than the enemies, right? Here specifically, uh, I'm able to utilize a lot of my AoE spells. I have mortars to then uh, punish their blobs. You know, I have a lot of options uh, against them. So it's really important to always remember, you know, what your victory condition within the battlefield is, and then always play towards that, right? Play towards that as much as you possibly can do. And that's my objective here. You can see we are we are also on elevation as well now. So we've taken elevation. This everything is just looking up, right? From a from an advantage perspective, everything is is going right at the moment. Let's cast another one. Got AFK units, that's fine with me. I don't need I don't need all the units engaged at once. In actual fact, it's a bad thing if they are. I just need the units. I just need to do damage through alternative means. I'll pull out the the Rags guy now. I don't want them to die. Good. The only unfortunate thing is I don't think we've killed a lot of their units, but we're killing the units that matter at least. Yeah, there you go. I knew this would be winnable by, but I didn't think it'd be this easy. I knew it was going to be winnable, but I did not expect it to be as easy as this. It's a shame we're not going to get any good kills on the units, though. Yeah, the mortars popped off, at least. Thankfully, we'll get a lot of... Uh... Wait, are we killing these? Thankfully, we're going to get a lot of um... replenishment from that fight. Because they're Empire as well. Being linebackers, it's... Yeah, I was... I'm... It's one of the things that people really underestimate, right? When you have units... Let me bring paint out. It's going to be easy to describe. We're pulling out the classic Battlesy paint situation, right? Um, is, a, is a full 40 seconds ahead of Twitch? It shouldn't be. All right, in this situation, right? When This is the reinforcing line, right? Uh, this is where the, where the uh, reinforcing is coming in. Uh, so the white line. And then when units are coming through... Yeah, I'd refresh it, Mr. Ace. I'd refresh Twitch stream. When they're coming through this way, right? Um, 
the AI naturally, they have to get to a certain position before they'll actually start attacking. People really underestimate this, right? People really underestimate the fact that when you are attacking a reinforcing army, their only objective is to get to a certain point that they need to move into. So you saw my regsguard survive for so long because the AI is just trying their hardest to push past them and then get to this position, right? So they are doing insane work because of the fact that they're just stopping them from moving past, and that's what we wanted to do with friends and uh, and the, the other lad. So keep that in mind, right? Always remember that uh, what's going to happen. It's something that people really, really underestimate a lot, I feel like. Uh, what we'll do now is just attack him as well, and I'm going to get some siege equipment. Attack! Men, we must um... Attack. We're going to hold the line because it's going to be useful. And then another flock of doom. Getting wild hearts not really that needed because I'm not going to cast... I don't have enough winds of magic for it to be worthwhile, I think. So... That secured that. So I'm happy with that. I think you do still get prestige, which is nice. Lensburg is being attacked probably by... Um, the Changeling. Would have dared to trust the Rags guard to, to hold like that. Yeah, it's just like I said, the thing that I was describing with paint. The AI is trying to get on the battlefield. Uh, so they're not actually attacking with full force, right? And Benjamin agreed. He really had the paint app ready to go. I I often pull out... I often crack out the paint when I need to describe something. I often try, try and crack out paint when I need to describe something. A fool's action... Because I want these outrider grenade launchers. I think they're going to be huge. Getting grenade launchers is such a big buff. They'll probably attack us, and that should be easy enough to win. Um, they'll they'll probably think they have enough to defend against us. Satisfy the grudge. When grudge? Uh, we'll probably play dwarves maybe either later on or tomorrow. Still super booster ranks guard. Yes. Uh, Ragnar the thirtieth. So yeah, we've battered these guys here. Bezo bucks. Thank you for the Bezo bucks, Akarius. Thanks for the prime video. Appreciated it. Okay. Hold on, the pup wants attention again. Oh, because yeah, Michael, you've got the um, you have the what we call it inside of uh, Reich Reichland. Uh, Aldorf has the building to buff them, and you have um. Uh, and you've got uh, the bonus versus imagery, I think he gives them now as well. So a lot of really good stuff. I'm finding dual platform streaming. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm, uh, yeah, the thing that was crazy, on my YouTube live stream, I peaked at 500 viewers. Which is mental. Get down. Get down. All right. Let us think about what we need to do here. So the main... Oh, it's just going to be the same situation. Wait, how, why are they coming in reinforcing with these guys? Did I get attacked by that one dude again? Wait. They're going to let me do the exact same thing again. The AI is going to let me do the same thing. Do you like Realms of Ruin, Fit? I really loved Realms of Ruin. I was top three in the world at one point. I was the top three player in the world at Realms of Ruin, but they get they kind of let the game die by not making the uh, changes that they needed to happen. Stop tooting your own horn. I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm just spitting facts. That's, that was legit what I was. I did enjoy it. I played it a lot. I had early access though, so I could play a lot more than other people could. Let's move them up. It's a great game. It's just it's unfortunate that um, I can't remember the name of them. The undead faction just were way stronger than everything else, and they just caught, kind of completely ruined the ladder. It kind of took away all of the comp competitive integrity of the game. Unfortunately. Nighthorn, that's the one. The Nighthorn faction was too strong. You think uh, in campaign we'll slow down Vlad? I would imagine so. 
You're front landing again? Nah, we're just gonna see what you need to do. Because we need to hold them for long enough. I just, need to I just need to figure out where they're gonna come in. I gotta come there, okay. Maybe a skill issue? No, they heavily nerfed Night Haunt because they realized the mistake. Night Haunt has been heavily nerfed now due to the, uh, the mistake they've realized. Ooh, there are mortars. Nah, shoot the mortars over here. Need on spinners and shadow shins worth getting at this point and pick up thrones anyway. Um, depends on what you what your expectations are and what you want to play, man. For me, shadows of change is not as good as uh, like TOD and stuff like that right now. I feel like um, for me, I feel like if you don't have uh, champions of chaos, it's probably going to be way more important to pick up than uh, shadows of change. I'll keep trickling these buggers down. Right, the mortars are dead again, which is nice. State troops ready. Yeah, we kind of screwed over the handguns a little bit by not getting them line of sight, but hey-ho. Alright. I'm interested, guys. If you could delete any faction in the game, who would you delete? If there was a faction you could delete, who would you delete? And, re and remember, there's no right or wrong... Uh, there's not right or wrong answer to that. It's your own personal opinion. Skaven. Skaven as well. Manfred solo for law reasons. I respect that. Champion of the people. I'm not overcast it now. Screw it. Mercenary army is interesting. Dwarves. All right, mods. Ban that guy. Orcs. Interesting. I've never really had too many problems with orcs. Wrong you in Warhammer 1. Unfun to play against. Nah, that's fair. Do you think they'll keep up with these reworks? I hope they do. I'm not sure if they will, but I hope they do. I think it's important for them to, if they're making content on something, you know, add a lot of free content as part of that content being released, right? For example, the Dwarves and the Empire have received a lot of free updates. Same with Nurgle, and they should keep that up. I'm going to miss the context and shadow around them. Nah, I trust you'll understand. You'll know. If it's honestly, if it's if it's something, if I want to ban somebody, I'll probably just do it myself. I'll, I'd never meme and say to ban them. Everything besides dwarf, just delete. But then if you do that, you're going to have to kill nothing but dwarves, and that's a grudge. You have shamed your ancestors. You're not satisfying the grudge. You're killing your fellow now, So remember that. You've shamed your ancestors, grudges. I'm sorry, bud. Um, is the, in the game R? What do you mean in the game? Uh, Fid, can you expand that? I'm not sure what you mean. In the game RR? Oh, is the game RR officially dead now? I can't really say that. I don't know. I've not I've not looked into anything to do with that content in a long time. The Realms of Ruin game. I haven't looked at anything into it for a very long time. You know, Frontier made a lot of layoffs, and that game, as part of it, suffered a lot. Um, honestly, the biggest problem with that game is they priced everybody out of the market. They priced the game at the same point as Baldur's Gate 3, and not worth. Not worth. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. A great right. adventure beckons. We won't get the beast ladies yet, but we'll use that five grand most likely. Great, so too are get some really nice experience here at least. What's this one? Okay, so we still have these events. Interesting. This is new. This is new. Pay reparations. You can pay um, and make them both happy. Sure. Ooh, the Court of the Night. I've never heard that faction before. I, don't, I literally have no idea who that faction is. Skaven best faction if we exist. Well, Jambo, make sure to report to your local witch hunter if you think Skaven exists. Alright. 
Make sure to report to your local witch hunter if you think Skaven exists. The new faction? Yeah. Oh, it's Elpis' enemy? Right, okay. Another change to that event? Yeah, it's a really nice change. It was always really annoying, the fact that it was, like, either a good or a bad thing. Now you... Like, you, you had to annoy one faction. Now you can make them uh, happier. Only after that, Imric Dragon Knights exist? Yeah. Scales, that's not, doesn't sound fun. Sure, man thing. Yes, yes. Ready to kill. That's us. So, we don't actually need this equipment. It's just we we made it because we can. Uh, we'll probably just shoot everything off the walls, honestly. Ah, shoot. They have uh, mortars as well. Although mine are really high levels, so they'll probably be pretty accurate. Will I play 40k Total War when it comes out? Oh, absolutely. If, it, if, it, if it's a thing that gets created, absolutely. If it's a thing that gets that gets released, absolutely. Although we don't know. I'd be very surprised if they don't release a game that is 40k, but we'll have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see. Nice. Uh, let's get everybody on the walls. Just need folks on the walls, and then we'll send the next row in. It's the only problem with handgunners is they really suck in sieges. We really suck. All right. Beautiful. Thankfully, we're taking out the mortars really easily now. Damn shame there's only two Dawn of War games on there, right? It's a shame that you couldn't have it. It's a shame there's no, there's not a third. All right, almost dealt with the mortars there. Surprised where we're struggling to shoot for some reason. Oh, because they've ran back. That's why they're running away from us, cowards. Absolute goddamn cowards. I can fight them on the walls, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't bother me, because we've got Flock of Dooms. As long as you cast it right next to the wall, it'll uh, in impact the units on the, on the wall. It's really nice that you can have a spell like that. You folks go towards the walls, and the gate. And we'll move up as well. Because they shouldn't have access to the towers to shoot us now. God damn, these mortars are really, really being annoying. Although I should be really careful with what I'm doing here. This was not smart on my end. But the mortars will probably struggle to shoot us. Also, I would imagine. Now, as long as I keep casting magic, we should be fine. As keep in mind, um, what are we doing over cast actually? Monster chief, you gotta be, a, you, you can't be a miscasting, lad. Uh, as long as you do magic on this on here, because the really interesting thing is that magic is not considered balance of power. Magic does not have any effect on your balance of power, but obviously killing units will. So that's why it's always really, really important to continue to keep casting spells. Just make sure you're constantly throwing out a stream of spells. Yeah, let's catch this one. Uh, can you tell the dwarves, which are known as Master Smiths, can't make spears to prevent cavalry charging a stumpy line? I mean, you, you got to remember that the reason why dwarves have axes is because elves live in trees. Right? So, that's usually the TLDR to it. Um, plus, a spear wouldn't really work for a dwarf. They're tiny. Legend claims that reserves count to balance of power. It doesn't. I've done multiple tests, and it doesn't count as balance of power. I sat in a battle sp casting about 100 spells, and I lost all of my wins of magic. It doesn't count. It might be it might have worked in two, but it doesn't work in three. Only ammunition counts towards it. It's the reason why when you have low winds of magic reserves, it doesn't impact your res auto resolve, right? It doesn't change your uh, your your auto resolve power. It's purely ammunition and stat line. 
I mean, Spear, uh, if you think about it, right, Spears kind of revolutionized the way that, um... Ooh, nice run through the game. Spears revolutionized the way that warfare was for. You know, Spears don't take a lot of training. You can stab someone with a spear pretty easily. Uh, you know, giving a bunch of, a bunch of peasants spears, all of a sudden they're pretty effective. You know? Tell that to Spartans. Well, I mean, tell that to the Phalanxes and the Greeks and the Macedonians and all that that use them. Favorite lore of magic? Good question. Probably... Uh... Probably Nurgle, for sure. Probably, yeah, uh, probably Nurgle. Nurgle magic is so good. It's, I mean, coincidentally, it's also probably the best school of magic as well. I think it's probably the best. How would they use spears if they're quite small and they make suitable? Spaces? Yeah, honestly, they're so durable enough that a cavalry charging into them, they'll get them with an axe eventually. Cheap, easy to make. Uh, easy to use, absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah, I agree. Uh, Reese, I agree. Just shoot stuff before they get close, anyway. Ray Nordland used to have this settlement. Ah, I'm not kidding. I refuse such orders. Uh, let's get some growth in here. We're gonna need it. King Leon Wait, Leon has taken this. Ooh, he might hate us for killing... Oh, he doesn't care. The gray Literally doesn't care we're killing Marenberg. Good. I am Prince and Emperor. I am Prince and Emperor. Yes, you are. Let's get the summons in. Summons a balance of power. Wait, why is it... Oh, I don't have the military building here. I was going to... Why can't I recruit them? Yeah, no military building. Do... Uh, we'll upgrade this next turn. I would imagine I can go down here and then up to there. So next turn, two turns, we'll attack Gorsal. Why talk to you? The Grand Theogenist should declare you. Why you can you can peace into Confederation? That's quite funny. Nah, I'm murdering you boys. Only problem is with murdering these guys, then I'm gonna have to deal with all the the entirety of the northern front of the uh, Norskans. Is this legendary? It certainly is. We only ever play on legendary. Um, hold on. Let me put that in the title. Thank you for the reminder. Absolutely not. Yes. The 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 death thing, right? Is. I honestly would take longer to win campaigns if I didn't play Legendary. Legendary in a lot of ways makes campaigns a lot easier. But also a lot harder at the same time. I wonder if General of the Empires have got anything good. I serve Sigma, champion of the faith. Ooh, Righteous Fury is new. I don't know if this make it easier. I just have more things to fight. It gives me more money. I am France. They will obey. It just gives me more money, uh, honestly. I have more things to fight. I get more money. Get more experience. Get more regiments around faster. Um, I can use one army to kill a lot of stuff, pretty much. That's why it makes it easier. Uh, I snowball a lot less quick. A lot, a lot less quickly with easy. Um, way, way easier to snowball on Legendary. Speak. I will Way less easy. Something that people don't really mention. I honestly think the game is easier on Legendary than it is on Easy. Which doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's true. If you played enough Legendary campaigns, you'll kind of... I am Prince and you'll see what I mean. Um, uh, income from buildings and ports. Is it just local region, right? Yeah, it is. Um, we're going to have to kill this fella, but it's, I don't think they're going to be able to take Marenberg. He's probably going to siege it, but I don't think he's going to be able to have much chance, Impossible. but he'll probably put this dude in there as well. Not possible. Uh, 
I will make my way over. And as long as we've got another general on there, we'll put a general of the Empire just so we can see his new traits. We'll, we'll go ahead and see if there's any new traits. Okay, Drill Instructor. Vigor Reductions, Army Experience. Leading the Charge, 10% for Cavalry Units. That's really nice. And Movement Range as well. we got Statement for Casualty Punishment Rate. It's nice to see. Oh, we get Griffins. And Upkeep and Leadership of the Army. We then have Imperial Training. Oh, you either go into one or the other. Uh, so never buff up the general. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Never buff the general up. Buff your army. Always buff your army. Your army is ten times better than what a general will do. The, uh, the game has well and truly changed in that respect. But I would be, I'd be intrigued to see how, well, how strong this guy can get with the Imperial Griffin. He can probably get pretty damn strong, actually. This guy's going to become a right Giga Chad. Weapon Strength, Heroic Killing Blow, War Hero, Survival Instincts, Imperial Training. And then you've got Deadly Blade, Scarred Veteran. Um, yeah, the leadership is gross, but... Jesus, this guy's actually kind of strong. Wow, I'm surprised they've made General Empires as strong as they have. Huh. I might try and get the General Empire Giga Chad and see how good they are. Would you go Inspiring Presence too? To the provinces. Um. Am I blind? Uh, what the red tree? Uh, it depends on your army, right? You'd get if you're doing the if you're doing the drill instructor tree, you go red tree first because you need to get to level twelve for this, right? Um. But if you're going down Imperial Training, you'd want to go down his Yellow Tree. Which I'm going to try. I'm going to try and see how strong a General of the Empire can get throughout this campaign. Let's take this key. Uh, what's the Rune Fang do? Yeah, let's get a Rune Fang on I honestly... Wait, hold on. I think the General of the Empire might be really, really giga strong. I think there are... Wait, hold on. Is it time? I think generals of the Empire will be stronger than friends. By the comet. Yeah, I think generals of the Empire might actually become stronger than friends will. With their skill trees. I think... Honestly, they will become stronger. Imperial Griffin, Imperial Training, Survival Instincts, War Hero, Horror at Killing Blow, Scarred Veteran into Deadly Blade, and you get hard to hit to begin with. Double Wound as well, into Deadly Onslaught. Underestimate the Giga Chad that is Cal Franz. Cal Franz is not a Giga Chad. I mean, plus Cal Franz in lore is not that strong. Like, Kyle Franz is not a good melee fighter. He's an imper he's, a, he's a statesman. Kyle Franz's strengths is he is a very, very good statesman. And that's what the Empire needs, right? And they uh, don't have anti inventory or anti-large options. Uh, they do. Oh, for the generals. Uh, yeah, I mean, fair comment. I'm really tempted to, uh, to load up a mod and just give them loads of experience and see how good they become. Okay. I'm uh, Kemler coming over now already. It's really annoying. <laughs> Which to this man right here? Well, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In game, is a Giga Chad? Nah. I mean, you can like compare Cal Franz as a fighter to any other lord, right? Bring me to my That's his, this is a stat line. That's like a generic stat line of most lords, uh, of most stuff. Compare him to fr uh, friends without items at max level. I'd have to level him up first. Uh, but I generally think this guy has reasonably close so... stat line. Not now. Annoyingly, I'm going to have to come back to try and deal with Kemla. Ooh, the only problem is here. Let me try this. 
Annoyingly, I can snowball. I would imagine Kemmler's going to attack us, which will then pull Marenberg in. I don't think there's anything else we can yoink. It'd be good to see how well this guy performs. So let me make sure that we've got all the stuff that I need. Is there any other ancillaries we can put on here? Ooh. Ooh, I'm big braining right now, boys. Hold on. Items of power come. Hold on. Let's put Hunter on there. Amber success chance plus 10%. Putting up to 55% now. Let him cook indeed. Anything else I can do? Nice. Yeah, another 10% there is going to help a lot. Although we might get shafted if it doesn't let us, uh, if the hero gets outside the fight. Yes. Right, we've just thrown some RNG curveballs in there, so let's have a look. I'm intrigued to see how well this goes. As if it's just this lord, right? We're just boned. We need the mage to help Franz's army. They ran away. Oh, you're kidding me, man. Kemla, you coward. Ah, we got spotted. That's why. It's annoying that the ambush success chance is different from the chance of being spotted. I hate that so much. I will marshal the bed. No. It's one of my least favorite things. Yes, my lord. Well, this fort's been taken. Uh, how far can my mage go again? Uh, let me do a steel mage technology. And then bring friends over there. Because we might as well get free experience. I am Prince and Emperor. Might as well get you do that for free experience. Wait, did, did Kemna walk past this fort? The nation Wait, did he walk past... Did he walk past this fort? How is that possible? Even you disappoint me. Oh yeah, he's not at war. How are you not at war with him? Yeah, not at war. I don't understand. Normally they are always at war with each other, so that's surprising. Bring me to my men. I know I'm going like, to delay me by one turn. I don't really think I need to get this guy. This guy doesn't need to exist anymore. Oh, we really need the money to upgrade this. We'll probably take Gorsal and maybe get peace peace with uh, Marenberg. We'll see. Gonna do a world domination run? Uh, we'll see. I think Stormhammer is one of those things where as part of new stuff coming out, you want to play it all, right? Maybe further down the line we could do that. Give generals or how about for anti-infantry and anti-large respectfully. Yeah, honestly, it would be cool to see uh, you're not wrong, it would be cool to see having more options and availability of things like that. It's actually really annoying Marenberg's not at war with him. Because Kemmler's just going to be annoying and come into my terrain. Uh, I can actually attack him here. Now, on march, is it time into battle? Come on then, Kemmler. Ah, oh, crap. Mon's Chief's not in my army. Right, I'm going to backspace there. We're in the zone of control. Doesn't matter who uh, Mon's Chief goes into, army-wise. Just making sure to get rid of him. That was an unbelievably free low fight. Good. Summon the elector counts. We should, in theory, have the movement to attack him again. And the answer is no. Einhardt might be taken now. I command here. The Empire. Let me get you out of here. Let's go towards you. Yes. Now we've got movement. Good. We'll put the terror banner into another army as well. 
And let's upgrade Altdorf as well now. now. And then you can drop those two spearmen. To the provinces. Yes. And then force match over here, you Giga Chad. And let's buff him up. Let's give him health. Yes, my lord. By the comet. I'm going to force match over here as well to ensure we can attack it next turn. Uh, let's increase his health. Who disturbs me? Nice, so that's dealt with that crap. Uh, we honestly could take these, but... I don't think we want to just yet. Isn't there Marenberg land? Ship to conquer Marenberg? Yeah, it would be ironic. Uh, Zao, good morning to you, buddy. What does the Emperor bid? Uh... Wizard. Nice. Let's get the summoning. Summons are a balance of power, so might as well use it. I want to save a little bit of my cash. I'm not really sure what the best usage of this is. Confederate a target level 5. Uh, level 10. Wait, doesn't that mean that I can confederate Talibet clan really easily? But then aren't I just going straight towards Vlad and asking him to spank me? Yeah, I'd rather not ta confederate Talibet clan. Yeah, Vlad's sort of already doing Vlad things. It's turn 10 as well. So, a lot, once all 13 electric count seats are under your control. Ooh. Let's wait and see what that does. So we can send aid. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this to see what happens. And it gives them an army. Reserve armies will take constant uh, attrition. None of your units will replenish. A force raised in haste must act swiftly. True. So I'm going to be interested to see what happens yes. on that when the, the ten one is. The army is small. Yeah, it doesn't look like an army that's going to make too much of a difference, right? Definitely not like an army that's going to make too much of a difference. So Kemmler's main army is obviously deaded. Franz needs to control the Marienburg province so we can actually start printing money off. Plus it, uh, it enables us to make more uh, trade goods too. Karenberg might be... Uh, we start taking back the, uh, the... Toddy's stuff, maybe. We'll see. So, interesting. You... You you recently uncovered details of an illicit affair involving Wolfram Hertwig and his former peasant concubine, who is blackmailing him with threats to reveal their past relationship to his entire family, as well as the other electors. Such a CD discovery would be an immense source of shame for both Wolfric Hertwig and indeed the state of Ostermark. Using your less than savory connections, you could offer your help to him in silencing this harlot, which would certainly go a long way. To increasing Ostermark support for you. The peasant ceases to exist. Yes, to unite the provinces. That's what I'm talking about. Said peasant sees, uh, has uh, ceased to exist. In game, in game, in game. Shaman. Killing peasants without mercy? Oh, absolutely. I cannot. Mercy is a weakness in, in the world yes. of Warhammer. And I can't afford to have weakness. Who calls? Bring me to my nice. Man. Get spearmen now. Sigma sons. I just really like the spearmen. Problem unseen is not a problem. True. I will marshal the men. Never. I'm so actually really interested to see how well this guy get, how strong he becomes. Like, I'm actually excited to see the Empire Captain's arc now. now. The general of the Empire arc of being the main character for the Empire. I am they will He's going to get some main character syndrome, I'm sure of it. Straight up main character syndrome right now. Uh, we'll yoink this settlement. Uh, we'll recruit two spearmen. Demolish it. Put growth in there. And then absolutely slap these pesky groby scum. Groby scum. To bits. We'll smash into smithereens. Is Luton Occupy always a better option? 
Really good question. So there's a couple reasons why you would loot an occupy, and there's a couple reasons why you wouldn't loot an occupy. One of the reasons is if you're taking the province, uh, like for example within Reichland, attacking Grunberg, loot and occupy, and then you attack uh, Oberswald, loot and occupy, then you attack Einhardt, loot and occupy. You can guarantee a rebellion spawning at Altdorf, which means you can get more experience and money. In the context of me already owning Helmgart, it's not worth me doing, because instead of me pushing towards Marienburg, I'd have to go all the way back to Altdorf. It, it, it might not be a bad thing, because I could go north towards the uh, defending against the uh, ogres, ogres, uh, the Grobi over here. Um, and plus, when you're attacking certain settlements that are of your own culture, you would get replenishment from it. So, um, loot and occupy is, is sometimes worth it. The main TLDR for me, Loot and Occupy is never really worth it if you're intending on having the province for a long period of time, right? Because you're demolishing the buildings and you're making people annoyed. Gobbo's the best. Where's Gobbo's, yeah. Also, thanks for all the followers, boys. Appreciate all the love, all the likes and the love. You guys are the best. She got a seize and no longer exists. Order exactly. I think the general can take on those rating. No. Not, he's not a high enough level. He needs levels under his belt before that. Ah. Kendall's back with a brand new track. Your dude is back with a brand new track. What does the bid? Honestly, the garrison looks relatively decent. It's annoying that Marienburg aren't at war with him. He's just running towards me. He's probably going to go for Einhard because he's an absolute turd. I mean, we could get a peace agreement. Deliver your missive and then we can. From my presence. And then force a war with Kemla. <laughs> that is a minus 150. <laughs> that is mad. 10,000 for a peace treaty right now. I think I might take that, actually. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take it, because then I can come kill Kemler instead now. Never. I'll come murder Kemler, and then I'll finish him off. What? Let me force Marge back over here. My crown. Ready? Bring me Ready. The nation calls. Ooh, wait, hold on. Can I get close Summon enough to attack him? To oh my god, I can! Hog? I see no other option. It is war. It is war upon us. You avoided the annoying Norskins as well, true. That's crazy. Ten grand is a lot of money. That is a lot of dollar bills, y'all. I'm sorry, David. Uh, I don't know how ununiform the Marauders and Chaos Warriors are between factions. Like Zinch gets spears and Nurgle. Uh, doesn't, and instead gets great weapons. Odd choice of god-restricted weapons. Yeah, I mean, typically speaking, certain gods would be affiliated with certain weaponry, because that's what, just what they're better at. Like, Korn's more of an aggressive, dual-wielding. Dual you know, that kind of makes sense, because the, you know, the Norskins you'd expect to be within the, uh, within Korn would be more berserker-esque, so heavily Norskin berserkers would probably more so be what you'd expect from Korn. Just a bunch of nutters, basically, you know? Um, but yeah, the Spearman for Zinch, I think it's probably just the fact that their, their roster needed facilitation of that. Uh, Nurgle lacked armor piercing, and so the Marauders fit that niche. It's one of those interesting things in relation to balancing between the game having lore reasons and balancing the game between having uh, playability reasons, right? So it's, it's, sort of, it's sort of the debate between playability and balance, right? It's a, it's a constant thing which uh, CA have to think about, right? Can you uh, negotiate peace, then use the newly mechanic to declare war to avoid penalty? The now you're cooking, my friend. Now you're cooking. I'll think. I'll, I'll check. That's a good. That's a really good point. Because that's just free money. No that at that point is just free money. It's a good question. I'll check. For the so this should be really, really we easy. So this Giga Chad has the Rune Fang. Cooking with betrayal? Ah, I mean, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, let's be honest though, the people that have betrayed us the most is Marenberg. Marenberg left the Empire, it's their fault. 
they left the men of the empire, so that's not even on us. I, I think they are kind of, kind of part of the empire, but they're not at the same time because obviously they are. They left the empire, right? It is. A, it's a weird. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird one. That's for sure. Because they are, but they aren't. So orcs of a, uh, of a Marenberg? No, other way around, I'd say. Kill the Marenberg first. You can still confederate? Yes, so they are. They are technically an, uh, an empire faction. Do they have an elect account? Uh, it's locked. Them and his elect account is locked unless you kill him. Like, I don't think you get any value from him. Honestly, the sad, th the daft thing is here, right? I could just do this. Go ahead and lock them apart from you. And just right click. As they are so unbelievably outclassed in this fight. As long as we move these grenade launchers towards them. Love that the mortars are shooting just straight into the trees. Venice, that's on my, that's, that's my bad though. Um, let's grab these spearmen. Not a great idea to run into a uh, cavalry unit uh, with spear because if they if they if they charge down right now they probably would have the uh, acceleration to push through them. So interesting to see the AI not trying to take advantage of that, as they absolutely would have had the percentage or, or the acceleration advantages to push through, due to the way that the um, calibration distance works, uh, due to the way the collision power works. Excuse me. Yeah, they would have been fine. I like the Feral Manticore. Um, seems like a solid summon these days, especially with the Feral, uh, with the uh, Rampage changes. Uh, what the hell was that spell? Ah, it was the grenade launchers. It wasn't a spell. It was, uh, it was these grenade launchers that clearly need to be fired after that one. I love grenade launchers. I think it's my favorite unit. Oh, one of my favorite units for the Empire. They are absolutely cracked. It's crazy. Sigma calls. Yes, General. Anytime I hear that, I, I hear Sigma balls. Is that just me or am I immature? On my Maybe just me, because I'm immature. I'll take that on the chin. I'll take that on the chin, you know. Let's get him to summon him. Uh, we'll, we'll check, we'll check. Friends. It's both. Fair. I'll take that. Yeah, what's your guys' favorite unit for the Empire, then? What is your favorite unit for the Empire? And why is it the grenade launchers? See, this guy's doing really well in fighting. You don't know? Yeah, Empire does have, like, a very, very, like, a weird vary of uh, units, really. The Hellfire rocket battery? Yeah, that's a classic. Cal Friends, also a classic. The Hellblaster, I like that. It's not a very uh, common answer. I love that. Blade Launchers are great. Yeah, they really do be great. Let's take out Fire Will for a second, otherwise it's going to kill my own units. Oh my god. We've been rused. We've been had. We've been bamboozled. I did not see these Black Knights running through, but thankfully they're not attacking these handgunners. They'll absolutely crush them. Where the hell did they come from? Did they come all the way down this way, out of line of sight, and then come up? Genius. Yes. Hey, you gotta respect it. You know what I mean? I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. I respect it more than anything. You can't be mad at things like that. Great swords, interesting. Yeah, great. I don't use great swords a lot, but they are a good unit for sure. Love me some steam tanks. Yeah, you'll especially love the new steam tanks. That's for sure. Love the demigod system. That was my favorite cavalry in the game from a visual point. Yeah, the uh, iron bull ones, the ones with the two-handed swords, are really cool. They are very, very cool. Great swords to mediocre swords, please. These ones are actually alright, the ones I've got in Carl Franz's army.
The Luminarch. Yeah, the buff to them is, is great. The Thanks get something to make them not useless. Um, warrior Priests buff them. Let me too angry to die, Grandpas. Yeah. Volkmar's campaign is funny with them. I love that he buffs them so much. Have you ever played with the SFL mod, David? I've played a lot with the SFL mod. Venris is a really nice guy. He gave us he's given us early access to uh some of his some of the builds quite a few times. So he's a he's a he's a good dude. He's a good good dude. All right, sweet. I am probably going to take that momentum and murder yes, Kamla them. To unite the provinces. What does the emperor bid? Ooh, I can attack this settlement. Ooh, it's a pretty big garrison. Yes, my lord. How much of a Giga Chad is this guy? Should we find out, boys? I think if I honestly take him off the mount, he'll probably be fine. Hmm, maybe not. Oh my god, look at this. Look, 2.6k HP, put him on the mount. Take him off the mount, I'm 1.9k HP now. Brother. That is so stupid. <laughs> what? Right, obviously, I'm going to have to reload, but that... Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to know, I'm gonna have to make a note of that. That's... I don't think that's a... That doesn't exist normally. Let me make a bug fix... A bug report of that. Yeah, it's definitely a bug. Um... That's been in the game forever? Really? That's really bad. Used to be the other way around, taking them off would heal them. Yeah, maybe they just... I don't know. What was happening there? I think basically what was happening is when we took them off the mount, it, it took away the percentage HP that you would normally be increased as part of going on a mount. Um, yeah, into the heal bug. Yeah, it makes sense. That's annoying because I've got to keep them on the horse now. Wait, are you kidding me? Brother. Cease. I'm going to have to do that fight again. My hand hovers close. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Now. Was it 10k we got last time? Like 10k if we wait. Mm -mm. I actually don't know if it'll be if it'll go up. I imagine it will. But at least the if they force match over here again, we can just kill them. Yeah, they did. I'm probably gonna want to resolve that one. Probably will AR that because of the fact that we've uh, we've already done that fight. But uh, we might lose a lot of health on this guy though. It's the annoying thing. It's fine. He'll be re. Alright, let's check the order. Let's check now. Yeah, it is. Let's get the 10k there. Let Marenberg hold the line there. Uh, and we'll force match over here. I am Franz. They will obey. Alric's will. In fact, he didn't really take a lot of damage at all. The nation Ready. I'm going to assume he's going to be completely fine doing this. Raise your weapons. Yeah, we'll give it a crack. Huh. Do I think the leadership is going to be more important or the, or the terror? Probably the leadership. 
Did I ever play Warhammer Online? I didn't, matey, no. Dude was repeatedly breaking his ankle, jumping off that horse. The other he died from injury, pretty much. There's nothing really in this army that is going to be a big threat to me, so we'll see. If I get surrounded, then the Spearman can kill me, though. Can he still this fight? We'll find out. We will find out. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's been asked before, but have you noticed any improvements to unit pathing around settlement walls and gates? Yes, it's it's improved, Tom. Uh, I'll make a video on it today. So thank you for the reminder. Yes. Could you ignore the uh, under sphere? I believe we already have. Oh, I don't, I don't have a mute psychology, so you're right. I thought I had immune to psychology, but I don't. This guy is taking way more damage than I expected. Okay, this is no way near possible. He... It's annoying. I don't want him in a mount, but I couldn't take him off a mount. Like, I didn't want him on a mount. Like, if he was off a mount, he'd, been doing, he'd be doing so much better. We'll see. Yeah, the fact that I'm having to be mounted is giving the Spearman such an easy time to hit, do so much damage to me. But he takes he takes so much damage if I um if I don't. He had to flee and survive. Oh, he'll he'll route in a second. He'll be fine. He'll be he'll route in a second. I'm I'm sure of it. I am slightly surprised, though. You wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have expected to take that much damage that quickly. Uh, it's good to limit test, though. It is good to limit test. Honestly, friends probably wouldn't have won that. I mean, if you, if that was a dwarf, a dwarf lord would have won that, hundred percent. But they can't be mounted. It was just because he was on a cavalry mount. That's the problem he had. But I'd have lost, like, 700 health taking him off the mount, so... Kind of sucks that that is a thing. So dwarves are the best. The damage are pretty damn good. Still still going strong. Oh, nice. And links are disabled. Sorry, Crusher. Mm -mm. I need to get my bot to fix that. Have you amazed me? I used to draw all most settlement fights because they navigating the walls. It was frustrating. I don't blame you. It's always good to limit test. We just need to get this guy. Yeah, if he was on his, if he was on foot, he'd have had such an easy time. Yes, my lord. At least he leveled up. At least he leveled up. Now that's what you call min max, baby. Shall I force? It I should force match him to get healing at least. Yeah. Bring me to my men. Does Franz have access into replenishment? I don't think we do, do we? It's not like the dwarves. I don't think we have access to the replenishment stuff, do we? Play for tier three. Get Marenberg up there. Get dies in there. Do we have any trade agreements? We do with Zulfar from the get-go, oh, no. I believe. I'm going to declare war on Throt. It's a bit of a risky game remove, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay. Yes. I will listen, but my time is short. Wolfram. He's, he, he banged a peasant, and now he's getting banged by Drycher. Feels bad for him. Feels real bad for that guy. Wait, how am I... Why, am, why is my Imperial authority stagnating? All Alexa State troops units will be replenished instantly in Alexa Pearl. Oh, that's quite nice. That is quite nice. Why have we lost? Alexa Counts destroyed. Classic. Choose a bit of uh, prestige there, then. Toddy's getting battered as well. You just sort of have to kill Kemler, otherwise, he becomes a big problem. Plus, he's part of my victory condition, so. And I imagine he's only got these settlements left. 
Helm got level 3 already is nice. Good job I checked. Uh, I'm happy just waiting out Dolph uh, to be upgraded. They're like mages that don't rely on wins and can take a bidding. Oh, absolutely. All dwarven heroes are, are incredible at fighting. Obviously, apart from the engineers. The engineers are pretty meh. That's so stupid. Does it six more times? I mean, I was just making sure that I, I was correct in my assumption that was what was happening. Because I was going to reload this, uh, the save anyway. If after rework, Dwarves going to have better chance against Chaos Dwarves and Skaven matchups. Definitely against Skaven. I'm not sure about Chaos yet. Just depends on what, what uh, stages of the game it is. I am Franz. They will obey. Attack. Ooh, Kemmler's taken um, the castle. Okay. We march. Ooh, I could have actually gotten an Empire Captain. Leadership would be nice, actually. Oh, of course, because Empire Captains are tier 2 now. Men. We must attack. I forgot about that. Into yeah, since it's not a human faction, we're not going to get uh, re I am replenishment Prince from them. So we're probably going to yoink Castle out for us, but we'll need to deal with Morath first. Yeah, look, they're just recruiting garbage units. So, let's check here. Can I declare war on them? No. Okay, so they're not considered as part of the Assassin's Belly. Caesar's Belly, or whatever he pronounces. Yeah, they're not considered... Deliver Although they are Deliver. technically the Empire, right? They're within the, the, the Empire, they're not on like to count. Maybe because of we've kicked them out of the sea. It could be because we've kicked them out of the sea. I see no other option. Summon the Elector Counts. Summon the Elector Counts. The nation calls. Kinda sucks we're taking attrition here. Right. It does definitely Terry. suck we're taking attrition there, but it's okay. Ooh, that's a scary prospect. That is a scary prospect. These poor buggers over here. Wait, does that mean I've lost my trade agreement? Aye. No, it's Karak Ziffin. Right. I mean, in fairness, we're getting car we're getting uh, Aldorf upgraded pretty quickly, which I'm pretty happy with. Shame about this guy. Peace? Nah. Lamal. Who's she fighting in turn one? I think vampires or something like that we saw. A vampire faction was murdered, I believe. We saw it over here. I don't know, though. I've not I've not seen. Alright, we'll take on the fort. Uh, we'll take this post, give it to the dwarves over here. And then we'll make our way over to castle over this side. I command here. Bring me to my men. Ooh, we're going to get uh, Ulrika. Raise your weapons. What does the Emperor bid? What does the Emperor bid? Ever vigilant. Man, getting a... Uh, oh, how should we proceed? No peace. Getting a Just life mage would have made this a lot easier. In fairness, there's not a lot of threats in that army. Posting a short uh, or a video that showcases a new summon they like to count button would probably earn a decent amount of views. Yeah, Tom, I intend on making my own version of the Carl Franz and Empire stuff. I think it's one of those interesting things where, you know, I'm constantly trying to think about the best ways of making videos short enough. Because um, I don't want to squeeze videos out to... Um, yeah, I don't want to squeeze videos out to be... 8 to 10 minutes long, just for the sake of money, right? I want to make sure that I make video that's actually quality. And if it, if it ends up being over XYZ, you know, over 8-10 minutes, it's 
Because I needed to make it. Uh, that long, because there's a lot of content to talk about. And the 30th. Uh, Merc Beast DLC apparently is the 30th. Siege Battle Beddage? Really? Alright guys, do me a favor. Do me a favor, boys. Type 1 in the chat if you like Siege Battles. Type 2 if you don't like Siege Battles. There's no right or wrong answers. Type, be honest. 1 if you like them, 2 if you don't. Okay, wow. There's a lot of 2s here. Wow, that is renowned. I am so shocked by that, boys. That is so much more. That is so much more twos than I ever would have imagined. Okay, of the people that said two, why? If you don't mind me asking, why do you think that? Why are they not fun? Is it because of the fact that there's just a lot of crap you got to deal with? You know, there's a lot of annoyance regarding it. What's the uh, what's the reasoning behind it? Pathfinding. Yeah, I honestly kind of agree. Pathfinding is my biggest gripe as well. Pathfinding turrets. Mm, okay. One thing I one thing I'm not sure about that like to conclude my thoughts on some of the sieges, the way the AI functions in defenses, it almost feels like they're programmed to be annoying as possible not to win. Right? G g g you guys got know what I mean, right? You guys know what I mean. It's almost like they are programmed to be as annoying as they need to be, like as possible, instead of trying to win the fight. Is sometimes how it feels. A fact about the dwarves, please. A fact about the Dowie. There's so many. Um, a Dowie is strong enough to lift a horse above their heads. You know, shame that I'm just Yeah, so they're strong enough to lift horses above their heads. Dwarves are exceptionally powerful for their stature. Pound for pound, dwarves are like ants. They're insanely strong. You would not want to mess with a dwarf. That's for damn sure. You would not want to mess with a dwarf. Uh, next week, Shooms. Although I'm in London for a week, which is so annoying. I'm in London for the first two days, which is annoying. So I'll be late on my stream. But there'll be other people doing this. There'll be other people streaming it, so I won't worry, boys. You'll get the content you'll need. You'll get the content y'all deserve. Ants? I mean... <laughs> not because the ants are small, is because ants are like 20... No, like 200 times their... Uh, uh, like, they, they can hold 200% of their body weight or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't quite think about the... Uh, it was kind of an insult, wasn't it? It was not intended to be an insult, but it kind of did sound like an insult. <laughs> yeah, I think like three times the body weight. Yeah, it's kind of like dwarves are so strong. It's mad. Right, let's see if we can shoot right here. Entries into the book. I mean, as part of being a dwarf, you're going to be in a book some way, you know what I mean? You're doing something wrong. Right, the, the guys on the mortars are getting fired. Jesus Christ, they just routed the entirety of these guys. As part of uh, existing, you're gonna you're gonna get in the grudges. You're gonna be uh, you know in the book of grudges eventually, just by existing. That one's on me. No, that's not on me. Look, look at the circle here. I shot right here. The accuracy should be that they shoot in this little circle here. Nothing to do with my units there. I can't be blamed that one. Just witness the war crime. Uh, I mean, true, honestly. I, 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 won't, I won't sit here and pretend. Wasn't intentional though, if that's, uh, if that's better. If that means anything, it wasn't intentional. I'm just trying my best to get them off the bloody towers. My units are getting crushed. Wait, can I go through the wall? No. No. Come on, friends, hit it. 
Monschief is, is actually stacking up a bit of value here, which is good. A couple of units here that are really annoying, but... Where is this lad? Oh, he's over there. I could have used this guy to cheese. Is that hitting the gatehouse? Just need to keep trying to batter them away from this area. Well, I mean, all the creators are. It's about... I mean, if they're giving us early access to stuff, it's, you've got to be respectful. And plus, if I start to see... If I start to showcase DLC stuff right now, when it's not within the embargo, it's just so unbelievably disrespectful to all the other creators that are trying to make content as well, right? you gotta, you got to keep that in mind. Damn it. Let me pull the Outriders back. Finally, we've taken the towers. Jesus. It's taken us a long time to get through here. My inventory line has taken a lot of damage, but thankfully Monsheep is doing a great job. Love how the map like, is designed as a spending castle, but in the battle it's a dwarf hold. Yeah, it's very cool. Agreed. It is very, very cool. You try your best, and you're succeeding. You're doing a good job. They can showcase in the multiplayer. Yeah, the, the embargo rules were really weird. Nice. Show the new buildings in more detail at the end of battle. Sure. Friends are just not taking any damage, but it seems that he's just not been in combat for very long. Are these all zombies? Yeah. Battle Do you know the dwarves at the most? Just can't tell the difference between men and women. Wouldn't surprise me. No, that's not true. That's only in Tolkien. I'm pretty sure that's only Tolkien law. That's not within Warhammer Fantasy. Only within Lord of the Rings can you not tell the difference between a male dwarf and a female dwarf. I'm almost certain that's just specifically Tolkien and Lord of the Rings. If I'm not mistaken, I'm, I'm almost certain that's true. Any of you guys know? I'm, yeah, I'm almost certain um, that only within Tolkien lore can you not distinguish the difference between a male and female dwarf. You're just bullshitting. <laughs> I mean, you know me. I will take whatever you guys say at face value. Right. I mean, I mean, logically it makes sense. With, uh, you know, within Warhammer, uh, within uh, Lord of the Rings. They use Attila's, uh, Attila's settlement sieges. I mean, they need to use um, what's it called? For me, I am, in my personal opinion. Um, Thrones of Britannia sieges were fantastic. Thrones of Britannia sieges are actually fantastic. That's what in my, in my eyes should be used. Shoot for the gate. Yeah, not a terrible idea, honestly. You're fantastic. No, you. No, you. And yeah, we'll get the crown as soon as we can. No, you're breathtaking. No, you. An update medieval, kind of. Same more Hamalor. So for a time, there's female dwarves, but they're specifically noted as position. Billy Guy's iron wife is from that clan. Ah, isn't Billy Guy's wife an absolute giga chad as well? Like, I'm pretty sure from a law standpoint, Billy Guy's wife is an absolute giga chad. Yeah, yeah, she's like an absolute unit. It's such a shame that how that story transpired. Looks in the mirror, it's her. 
Let me see if I can sneak these grenade launchers through and start shooting in here. He just lays a few hundred storm of them alone. What a beast. Uh, let's go to the right hand side here. Try and get some shots into these black knights here. Should be able to get some really good hits. Let's see if I can move them a little bit now. No, honestly, it looks like we're fine. But we can get him into a better positioning, so we, we should definitely do so if we can. Okay, mortars have run out of ammunition, but we should be able to get some good shots there. Uh, very few units left, really. Uh, this guy can start going to cap um, capture points just to make it a lot easier on us. My god, these Outriders are so strong. It's crazy. Absolutely wiping the floor with inventory. The mortars have been shooting and used all their ammunition, and the Outriders have only just started shooting, and they're pretty much at the same level of value. They have more value. And they've got more kills. Oh my god, it's disgusting. They're so good, man. They're so good. They both are targeting. It feels like that. It's just like one volley and everything dies. Everything dies. One volley. I wonder how good they are at killing towers. Out of interest. Not that great, honestly. Kind of makes sense, though. I must bonus kicked in anyway. Big. Vampire Lords are so tanky, it's wild. Little female uh, dwarf crowd of light does not have a beard. Same with female dwarfs. Yeah, I didn't think many of them did. I need to check um, something in a second. The tower died because the battle, uh, we got the capture point, that's why. Or is that better at destroying towers and archers? Yeah. It's just the way that their the damage calculation works, I believe. It's a weird one. Vlad can't die. He is very tanky. Four gyrocopters will do the trick, though, I'll tell you. It's what we learned with Ungrim. All you need is four gyrocopters, boys. Cannons are way better at destroying towers and arches. I disagree from what I've seen. Cannons don't seem to be that good. Break Vlad out. Yeah, you just gotta shoot him a lot. And now 48 models. Yeah. It is crazy. We lost a shield, but that's okay. Right, we can give this to... Uh, ooh, maybe we keep it for trading purposes, but... Uh, what I'll do, uh, we'll do the cheese. Let's see if the cheese still exists by putting a military building in there. We'll put a military building in there and then trade the settlement and get like a bazillion from it. Yeah, because it's only 4.8 right now. Ooh, shoot, Grom's right here. Is Grom at war with him? No. Grom's at war with you guys. Do you have only one settlement left? You do. Yeah, let's make sure to kill Kemlin them. I am France. They will obey. War wagons would be really nice right now. Yo, 300 missile strength? That seems a lot higher than I remember. That seems so much higher than I remember. 300 per 4 entity out of all of them? Yeah, I think that's doubled. They got repeater. Yeah, because the range is lower, but they've got double. Six shots per volley. Yeah, it yes, must be the repeater. Sigma. No, it's the same. Really, three hundred. What? I don't remember that being as high as that. Summon the elector counts. Who calls? 
Nice. Outdoor's been upgraded, so let's get... Oh, we need the ranks guard stack again, guys. Ooh, devastating flanker. Shall we do the ranks guard stack again? Hmm. I mean, the ranks guard stack does go hard. Wow, grenade launch is a tier three. That is wild. And yeah, you do get it from the main building. Yeah, it's kind of mental. Tier 3 for grenade launchers is wild, because you don't need the other buildings for it either. How about we'll do that? Do this. Upgrade it all, eh, boys? Wow. We only just had the dollar for it. Depends on what Grom does, honestly. If Grom just goes and kills Karak Ziflin, I'm not going to be happy about it. That's not really good because there's no AP. I mean, most of the damage is, is explosive anyway. But true, you can have base weapon damage for explosive and it's, it really doesn't do much. Wait, where did Grom go? Grom didn't take Montfort or Castle. There is no way in hell there was an army around here that was strong enough to kill Grom. I kind of refuse to believe that. You're telling me two armies was, was not enough? No, no way. Yeah, he's still he's still alive. I was gonna say there's no way. And I'm not sure. I would imagine so. The Empire. Uh, Scrap, I would imagine so. Let's go. Bring me to my men. What does the Emperor bid? To battle? What does the Emperor bid? So now we've done the uh, military building cheese. Let's see if they fixed it. Welcome, men of the Empire. Nope, they haven't fixed it, Lamel. So they, yep, they haven't fixed the empire, the, uh, the cheese. Yes. The nation calls. Yep. Put a military building in there, and you can trade settlements, and time? basically guarantee that you get alliances and stuff. It's just sort of a cheese that's existed for a while. But I need to make sure that chuck in some saltage there. I command is there else common sense? I disagree. Iron Drakes aren't as good as you think. AT ranged Iron Drakes are not that good. For the most part. The gyrocopters are the things that are insane. If we're going to be judging something, it's the gyrocopters in my eyes that are just ridiculous. Right, let's stop taxing briefly here. Right. Nice. And back to an auto resolve. Um, I mean, the dwarves have always had really good auto resolves. The dwarves have had one of the best auto resolves since yes. Warhammer One. Well, that is all I. Wow, they've got a lot of resources to trade. It must be the tier 3 building. Still can federate them? Yeah, you can, yep. Gyro like a sandwich. Funny enough, I actually had... I, I ate a gyro today. Uh, we ordered from a Greek place. It's really nice. It was really, really nice. Did they get nerfed? No, as, long, as far as I'm aware, they didn't get nerfed. As far as I'm aware, did they not get nerfed? That seems crazy. Yeah, I think the gyrocopters are honestly redonkulous. Nice. Maybe we send this guy over here, but I need him to get experience. Not in my name. So I think we must attack. Pretty sure if they siege it, we won't we won't die straight away. Interesting. Crypt horrors. No Can you recruit crypt horrors? Crypt horrors are tier two recruitment. Has that always been the case? Is it has it always been the case where it's a tier two recruitment? That seems pretty fast. It has? Huh. I think they're both Jarrah Bombs without mentioning it. 
No, it's more the fact that there is just a lot more entities. So, if they didn't change the numbers on it, the fact that there's more of them there, you know, is uh, is the reason for it. They'd have to nerf to accommodate, but they haven't. I think the main, the, the interest, the most interesting thing for me is the fact that their tier one inventory is dwarf warriors, uh, tier zero, excuse me, dwarf warriors being tier zero is crazy. And thanks for the follow, matey. That to me is mind blowing. That you you would put them as tier zero. Because Dwarf Warriors are really goddamn good. Like, they are really good, man. I think they're arguably one of the best Dwarven units. Just throughout. You can use Dwarf Warriors even late game. They'll hold against high tier units, but obviously they'll, um, they'll take a lot of attrition. I think here is probably my best position. Wait, I can deploy here and probably not go... Is that a tower? It is. Probably deploy here. Use the trees. And then just uh, shoot the snot out of them, I suppose. The and then Carl Franz in front to tank the shots. Wait, where's the rest of my units? Let's grab them, put them over here. We are Sigma the oh shoot, Franz is flying now. Ulrich's Which is actually a really good thing. Because they normally don't go on walls when you're flying. As Sigma fought, so shall we. So I'm intrigued to see what happens here. Normally, if you knock entities off the wall, they don't die. Like normally, if you knock over, knock lords off, they don't die. That guy's dead for show. Look at him. He looks like such a beast. Warhammer Three really is beautiful. Well, I can hear the like the click clickety clackities of the uh, the Pegasus. I know you, Monsu. Uh, I'm gonna be working towards getting that the new summon the like to count mechanic. Are there general speeches now? That I don't know if that's always been in there. Can you get the new crown? Yep. We can. We have Deathclaw at home. Yeah, it's definitely not a... Uh, Pegasus is definitely not a Deathclaw, but they're close. The, the, law, the really cool law reasons around Deathclaw and how Franz got it was the Wood Elves of Athel Lauren were so impressed by Carl Franz, they were like, this guy's pretty chill, let's give him a uh, Deathclaw. Or give him a, 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 you know, a Griffin. Been in for a minute, but they don't always happen. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Because I always want to be very careful when I make videos like that. New battle intros! And it's like, oh, that's already existed. I'm like, oh, let's remove the video then. I've been saying gunpowder units are more responsive. Yeah. Um, probably a fair assumption. I haven't been using gunpowder units like crazy, but I definitely think there is a lot of improvements. Because I think it's one of those things where a lot of new gunpowder units have existed, so they kind of had to make sure that they're uh, functioning and working well. Because there's so many gunpowder units, right? Alright, let's go to this gatehouse. Yeah, having friends on this mount is almost a bad thing, honestly. So dope. I just drive to the office every day. I'll do welcome home. I have to go to the office once a month. I'm very lucky. Traitor? No, it's worth doing now. The pathing is a lot better. I, my my office is in London, 
And my boss was like, you have to travel quite far, just come in once a month. Any changes to Siege? It's, it's mainly pathing, David. Mainly pathing that I've seen so far. I don't know if they fit, I don't know if they have Square Cloud, but from what I've seen, there's definitely improvements. So I'm I'm gonna be investigating it tonight and make a video on it. I will be making a video on it if there is improvements. But like I said, there's still jank. Look at this. This guy being knocked off, being yeeted that far, and he's not dead is wild to me. Oh my god. Do we have the clip? Did anybody clip when I chuck that um, lord into lava? Did any of you guys, do any of you guys remember that? When I yeeted a hero into lava and they died? That was brilliant. I should have made a YouTube video on that one. I really should have made a video on that one. It was so good. Ruth to get rid of butt ladders. I would imagine they honestly will. Butt ladders don't make for intuitive design. It wouldn't surprise me if they did. Right, guys, do me a favor. And thanks for the follow. Do me a favor, guys. Right. So, a lot of you guys earlier said you don't like sieges, right? Okay. A lot of y'all said you don't like sieges. But if I were to say, do you guys think taking away butt ladders and implementing some other mechanic... That allows you to do, like, you have to recruit them or you have to uh, build them would be a better way of doing it. Just to slow the pace of the game down a little bit. Do you guys think it's a good idea? Would that be a good idea or nah? You guys think so? Yes? To slow the game down? No butt ladders? You have to build them? No? Alec, how come? You mean like siege towers? Yeah, build ladders like siege towers. Exactly, yeah. AI hey, just don't have to defend. You think so? What you want to see is sapping. That would be dope, but very it's a very historical thing, right? This feels like wasted time. Honestly, they shouldn't have given every every Legendary Lord Siege Attacker. Because that's why you think like that. Honestly, I think some of the death of Sieges was giving every Legendary Lord Siege Attacker. As it massively amplified and made it very more, made it much more apparent the issues with sieges, because you do so much more because you have siege attacker on every legendary lord. Like Gelt didn't have siege attacker, right? I'm pretty sure. Um. See, I, I, I'm not. I, I don't think it's a. It was a good change, personally, because I feel like it. It made sense. Like, for me, previously, I had to, like, think smartly about what I was doing in my campaign. Like, Grom Brindle's a really good example. Grom Brindle did not have Siege Attacker. Makes sense, he shouldn't have Siege Attacker. Um, and... It forced me to build trebuchets, specifically to Siege stuff. Or Grudge Throwers, excuse me. And I quite like that. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I quite like the fact that I had to, um... You know, at least think about my army composition before doing things. Whereas now it's just sort of, you just get everything anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Right, now let's move up with the uh, grenade launchers in a sec. Maybe, ooh, idea, guys. Idea, guys. Hear me out, hear me out. Ladders can be built in settlements, and your units carrying them are slow. Like, you have less movement running around with them. Like, a little bit less movement running around. And maybe even siege towers. You can sacrifice, like, half your movement to have siege attack, have siege towers ready straight away. That'd be pretty interesting. Like, in Rome 1, yeah. I think that'd be pretty interesting. Like, actually having availability of stuff like that. Toggle. Ooh, Krell is actually crushing Franz here. To battle. Take position. Oh my god, Franz. Formation. March. Right round. Take the ground. Yeah, Method. Uh, you can start to hit gates rather than use ladders. I did both, matey. I've done both, buddy. 
But I do agree. Also, thank you, Mifford. You absolutely can, but I've done both here. I can push a siege tower without slowing down. What IRL? The only person that I could that I know that would probably would be actually be able to do that is Randolski. He's a Highlands competing Chad. He would probably be able to do it. Uh, the, the wizard is already named Mons Chief. Sorry, Born to be King. If I have any mods, can you please refund the wonderful Born to be King? I just, uh, work well in this kind of game is because the unit variety is so vast compared to his oracles. Yeah, it makes sense. But then again, I feel like due to the unit variety, you are punished in sieges because of existing, uh, because of certain units. So it's like a double-edged sword, right? It's sort of a double-edged sword. Although, yes, that's true. You're also punished because you are, have a variety of an army. Stop shooting now. Please hear my game's not going to crash. I think it's crashed. Normally when it freezes like this, it's crashing. Yep. There we go. Sorry about that guy. Sorry about that guy. Do we have to do that fight again? They like sieges because they make up 90% of battles. Yeah, it's sort of flipped, hasn't it? It's sort of flipped, hasn't it? I remember when we used to have nothing but minus element battles. My god, it was suffering. I remember having so many minus element battles, it was just overwhelming. And then now it feels like it's it's just gone the other way. Now it's loads of siege battles. People complained a lot about the minus element battles. In fairness, I was I was included in that. As a streamer, playing the game like six hours a day or something ridiculous, doing minus element battles back to back to back to back was obviously gets stale, right? Gets pretty stale. Sorry guys, I'm having to, I'm having to plug a fan, fan in because I'm absolutely roasting. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to continuously keep sieging this element. Just so I don't have to bother with that siege again. Because we were basically about to finish, about to win that siege and obviously... Do we take attrition when you're sieging like this? Wait, why do I not have movement? Oops. Is my right by Sigmar's crown. Did I try Popeyes yet? No. I've had Wendy's though. Yeah, some of the times the trading's weird. Bring me to my men. I've had five guys. I have, yeah. I've also tried the food, too. Greetings from Sigma. <laughs> it seems. It's a joke. Jeez. Hey, Val. Uh, next time, we'll, we'll see just Kemmler again. Hey, Dan. I think we can probably squeeze this dude inside of our army as well. Whoa, we're engaging political and we get fealty for everybody. Nice. Instead of Imperial Authority. Yes. To unite Thank the God bombs. that mechanic's dead. No peace, just war. Oh, oh my God, I almost, I almost attacked... Um, yeah, I almost attacked uh, Bretonia then, Luan. That would not have gone down well. Yes, my lord. Onwards, praise Sigma. The nation calls. Weapon practice. Men, war calls. Men, 
We must attack. Prince and Emperor. Right, Kemla being on the last leg is useful. Let me tax this because it's gonna rebel in it's gonna rebel anyway. It's actually not a joke, I'm one of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did we talk about? Siltis, we said to keep it a secret. Come on, man. Not cool. How much does friends uh, great swords cost? I'll check. How are things? Things are well, Val. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I think... Uh, like 300, maybe? I'll have to check. Migration... 200, that's not bad at all. Alright, decides a lot. I'm not seeding this element again because of the fact that we got schematized on the uh, crash. I mean, we're actually getting a lot of money owning Marienburg. That's like three caravans that have come since we've owned it. The Empire. Managed to man headache? Oh, having headaches always sucks. Make sure, make sure you're drinking enough water. Make sure you're drinking enough water. Wait, hold on. Best of the Empire. Uh, melee attack for race guards. Yeah, let's go race guards now. I mean, plus 50 local growth is insane. Another minus 15% there. Plus armor flex counts. That's really nice. Now. Uh, let's merge these swordsmen. The uh, let's chuck in the hero. And let's merge these swordsmen. Uh, spearmen, excuse me. And then let's go back. Did you say water? Yeah, drink some water. You are good. The nation calls. Okay, conduit. Lovely jubbly. Uh, in fact, we can recruit Rex Guard over there. Um, the only threat he he around the area is obviously Grom, but seemingly they're not doing anything. It is weird. Obviously, the Northern Grey Mountains, I suppose it makes sense for it to be on a rail. Um... I mean, fans, we should probably have done all these quests, but they really don't do much for Cal Franz. I'm not going to do them for money. Ooh, please say this is... If this has a mortar, we might be able to yoink a mortar, which would be nice. How do I get Marenberg? Uh, through Conquest. When's the DLC out? The 30th. Saw a multiplayer, multiplayer battle with the Thunder Badge. Looks so broken. Yeah, it looks really good. It very much does look very good. Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. Oh, and by the by the way, guys, to all the folks that have joined the Discord, welcome in. Welcome into the Discord. Good to have you guys there. Can't be out quicker, yeah. Hey, Lethe. Uh, has Dwarven Update tidied up the basic and killers with dwarves? Currently build has so many run followers. It's not just a chore. Uh, for far as I can tell, um, there is a lot of really, really good um, and killeries and stuff. Send forces to defend against it. We can do treasury. Might as well do treasury, because... Wow, I have... I've given them better units than they had. You can do normally... Yeah, you can normally pardon captives, and you make just as much money. Ready. By Sigma's right, I see no other option. How far can I go? I can Let's get it here. Ready. Ooh. You want. That is going to be a problem. I wonder if it's worth me murdering... Rom now. 
I'm gonna go ahead and imagine it probably is me wor worth me murdering Grom. Yes. Even though I need to go kill Vlad now. To the provinces? No. Ah, it's just spearmen. It's gonna be useless. Should be fine. Any changes to Volkmar and Wolfheart? Not that I'm aware of. I don't think it's fast. Makes sense for Grom to provide regen as a defeat trait. I get what you mean, but not necessarily, because the regenerative properties that he has specifically is because of the troll meat that he consumes. Uh, troll meat has regenerative properties, and one thing that orcs do is feed goblins troll meat to make them ex to make them expand and explode as a, as like a joke. Are you kidding me? Why is Ikiklaw over here? Uh, but Grom, the same happened to Grom, but he uh, didn't explode and just murdered everything. Uh, it just didn't explode and just kept expanding. I think I'm going to have to go and start doing some interesting stuff over here. Midland, Midland has actually battered back the orcs. It was good to see. Iggy's come to kill me? It looks like he's come to kill Durthu. Can I force match over? I can. I am Franz. They will obey. Good. Is it time? Onwards! Yes, my lord. Yes. I really want to get him on an Imperial Griffin and then go into Imperial training. I'm gonna really try to make this guy yes, strong. We'll see though. Comet. Ooh, that is a really strong army. I, I don't think they're going to attack me. So, Shoot, I don't know if I'm, in, I'm not in the zone of control of Marenberg. There's a chance that the Marenberg might get killed here. Ooh, mages get Imperial Griffins. That's huge. That's really nice, actually. Gives a lot of survivability to the mages. A lot of survivability to mages, that. The nation calls. Big fan of that. Oh, is it only Beast Mage? Okay. Only Amber Mages? That sucks. I guess it makes sense for Beast Magic. Oh, they had it before 5 minutes? Okay. Fair enough. Only Amber? Okay. If this guy attacks me, I'm going to be very sad. I don't know if he's at war with uh, Emil von Kaden, though. Beast Mage Discipline? The Doom Sack one? Yeah. Do you sack them? Speak. I... Yeah, that makes sense. Seems that you don't start with a non-aggression pack with uh, Vlad anymore. Have with, if I was getting dragons, true. True, 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 true. It should be fine. The nation calls. Wow, Throt is dead. That is surprising. That is very, very, very surprising. Oops, no, go training. Training's way more worth it. In the name of Magnus. I think I'm gonna attack this guy. By the comet. Just to get rid of him. It's nice you get replenishment. You see the records of all the character menu screens? Uh, do I still need them? Uh, you don't have to record them individually. It's just uh, what I was going to do is uh, I'll probably just end up doing it myself. I'm going to record on the left-hand side what they used to be and what, the, what they are on the right-hand side. That's the, my idea for the video. But I appreciate you being a homie, my dude. It was more like to, to just look which ones are different. Ooh, Battle Hardens. Nice. 70 armor for a mage is really tasty. As I wanted to make a video of all of the uh, changes so people can have one-stop shop for all things changes in that respect. Am I going to him out? No, no, no idea. Potentially. Wow, another turn we can upgrade to tier 2. Fact about the Wood Elves. Uh, interesting. Uh, Dreicher specifically is typically speaking hated by the rest of the Wood Elves. Specifically because of the fact that she only just, like, speaks the names of all the dead dryads that she knows of. 
See, she's not exactly the most... She's not exactly the conversationalist, to say the least. She is not exactly the biggest conversationalist Greetings in the world. From Sigma. Feels so weird. Um, speaking to the new DLC characters. I feel like I'm doing something wrong, but I'm not. Dryas is a dwarf? No, Dryas is a wood elf. Dryads, that was on about. God, it is really warm today. It really is warm today. Ooh, gotcha can feel it, boys. Yes. I don't think my army's ready for that, though. Ooh, with that, we might be. Should we get Godchick and Felix here, boys? Let's go get him. Let's go get our boy Godchick and Felix, eh? So they they are now legendary heroes if you want to, if you weren't aware. Godric and Felix are indeed um, heroes, which is huge. A really really nice change. I'm very very happy they've done that because yeah, beforehand no bueno. Beforehand yeah no bueno. I think losing them after a certain amount of time just didn't feel good. So I'm really happy to see that they've uh, at least considered the, the opportunity and the reason why they shouldn't be really just a turn, um, the you know, there for turns. The so you get both? I don't think so yet. Every time I've rocked so far, he's got wrecked in this battle. It makes sense, because it's very difficult to kill the, um, the, the stuff quick enough. It's honestly because Gotrek and Felix just die before you can help them. My army's not very good, though. It's a sad thing. Can I show him the skill tree when I get him? Of course I can, Matthias. Of course I can, buddy. Of course I can, and I absolutely will. Oh, and by the way, guys, to all the YouTube folks, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is mental to think about. I never in a million years would have thought I'd have been 10,000 subscribers. Uh, so I'm super happy about it. Do you feel like still get stronger with each time they get wounded? No, I don't think so. Maybe go subscribe. Thank you, Scrapper. I think I need 80 more people or something like that. Can't remember. It might be 800. I'm not sure. Right. So Godric and Felix. So we know that we've obviously got the Exalted. There's the Alluras there, Alluras there, and Alluras there. The portals will keep spawning. Uh, the portals will keep on spawning. Could get more by releasing a dwarf voice lines ASMR vid. I don't know what I, I don't know what even I'd, I'd even say. So it's only like twenty. God damn, my younger video might have done well then. Yeah, it did. Or it is doing nice. Fuckers. I appreciate y'all watching the videos. I'm just trying my very best to make the best content I can. What is surprising on Dead Throat? Pretty standard in my games. Really? Throat almost never survives very long for me, for some reason. Uh, th excuse me, Throat always gets super strong. From my experience. So the right scad are so squishy, I've got to be really careful with them, boys. I've got to be so careful. I have to be so unbelievably careful. It's a shame we don't, have, we don't have a flying mage yet either, though. So it's 92 speed, I think, is slower than the Seekers of Sun Ash, so I'm going to be careful. Uh, but I can't afford to wait around. I have to move up accordingly. I have to move up accordingly to defend them. So what I'm going to try and do is get as much value from these guys as possible. Is, uh, the Alluris is the key to escaping this nightmare. Eliminate them. Roger that one. Oh my goodness. It's almost like Gotchik and Felix want to die. Oh my god, I got so unbelievably lucky then. 
The seekers of the seekers of Sanash could have honestly crushed my uh, outriders there. I don't know why they didn't. Holy smokes! My play legendary. I do indeed, mating. It's not a bad question at all. I do indeed play legendary, my friend. I only ever play legendary. I have only ever played on the hardest difficulties on my stream, as context. So you, you should only expect the hardest difficulties on my stream. I honestly, it'd be too boring otherwise. Come on, boys, turn around. We do have firewall moving, but obviously we can't shoot from behind. We need to start killing other S's. I'm actually gonna just gonna send over friends to kill them. I think it's the right play, honestly. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Good. I'm an idiot. I forgot about this for a second. Thankfully, we didn't lose too many casualties. Or oh, we didn't take too many casualties. I'm going to try and skirmish them around the battlefield here. Let's get these guys over as soon as possible. Because they're going to they're going to continuously keep summoning units. So I've got to be really quick. I've got to stop trolling. And help the, the blobs over this side. I also need to make sure that we're defending. Because mortars don't do a lot of damage. Just to friendly fire wise. Okay, let's shoot those guys. Another cast of that. I'm actually going to sum. I'm going to run the Beast Mage over. Let's start skirmishing here. So Franz is crushing that nerd, which is good to see. Make sure the, the demonettes are not chasing on that side, which is not happening. Just trying to zoom around so sorry if it's disorientating. I'm just using shift to zoom around the map here. Why are you going into melee? I shouldn't blame the tools in which I have available to me. That was my bad. They're only listening to what I'm telling them to do. Let's move back and just skirmish a little bit now. Let's go back over the side. Just need to check Gotching and Felix's health. Okay, they're, getting, they're losing HP here. Godric actually doesn't heal us for Asmware. I need friends to hurry up and kill these Olorises. I'm worried that, Fra uh, that we're going to lose them. Okay, they didn't. Friends should be okay doing this. You pull around, you pull, you come back here, you shoot there for a second. Ignore those and move over. Uh, you attack here, you attack here, you move over here, please. You move over to there. We need to make a bit of a barrier for them here. Double shoot here, and I'm going to get the, uh, the summon of this over. They're crumbling enough to the point where they've hit critical threshold of that. Uh, we'll go with a flock now, there's no point. I'm going to buff up. Oh, I should have overcasted. It does nothing. That's my bad. In that scenario, overcast does nothing. Let me put the uh, the dude down now. We do have anti-large as part of our trait. Uh, I'm conscious of the fact that we're losing a lot of HP here on Gartrick. I need the Alores killed. The grenade launcher is going to help us do that. What I need to do is just take a little, uh, take a significantly more uh, aggressive stance here. Because they're going to keep summoning things from the portals. Good. Good. Godric's now recovered. Good. Screw I'll just use the grenade launchers there. That's gonna, not going to do much. Let's pressure them. Yo, David, good to see you, lad. Really need to shut this down. Oh, I'm actually kind of afraid for Monsheath here. Monsheath, hold the line, please, buddy. All right, didn't do what I asked. So that's okay. Pretty and cool Monsheath, but okay. Why am I struggling to kill so much kill these Loras, man? Franz is having such an awful time at doing it. Who else can do this? Bryce guard, I guess. Yeah, we're really struggling to kill these Alorasses. This is going to be really dicey soon. I'm happy to tank with these Outriders for a little bit, because I just need to get uptime, honestly. I just really need uptime. I mean, the Alorasses will die so fast. I'm surprised it's taking us so long to run over. Where's the other one? Okay, the other one's getting killed. The other one's over here. 
The second we kill the third, it's GG, so. They bit the fiends out. Let's go for the other Loras here. Let's get my cavalry on the go. We might be able to get... Uh, you break off here. Mortar, stop shooting now. There's no point in shooting with you. I think turn around and just sacrifice whoever's in there. Gotcha and Felix is looking okay. Franz now goes for the LRS and we'll just sandwich them. Uh, let me buff up these guys, I think. Uh, honestly, from an individual perspective, probably is better on Franz because he'll do some heavy hits. I don't think there's a concept of army, uh, army loss bonuses, potentially. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Mons Chief. God bless. Right, never mind. You idiot. <laughs> I mean, psych. Uh, okay. We almost lost you there, Chief. Wow, Felix has done a really good job of healing. Gartrick, on the other hand, not so much. Felix must be a lot tankier. It's a shame the Alluris is right in the wall. Alright, you're fine. You'll fly away. That is a tough fight when you don't have Slayers, honestly. Last time I did this fight, I did it with Slayers, and it was so easy. Uh, Captain named already? I don't believe so. I think we definitely had ways to optimize that, but it was just the fact that the Gotrick and Felix just run in, but it, it makes sense. I think, yeah, Felix is level 15, so clearly Felix is just a higher level than Gotrick, so he's just a little bit stronger. Okay, nice. Thankfully, they crumble really, really quickly. Because that's... If you get to a certain a certain leadership threshold, they instantly crumble. Uh, why is Felix rank 15 and Gotrick is rank 1? I would imagine from a balancing point of view. My assumption is that Felix is just a lot squishier, typically speaking, at level 1, which is true. And I imagine CA would have done QA testing and realized that Felix dies too quickly. So they needed to give, they needed to give him levels because level 12 is when you get helping hand to heal. Uh, is my best assumption there. Imagine having a gold wizard. A gold wizard would be nice. But Beast is alright. Beast has helped us a lot. It's been better than every other ones. Um, Beast has been better than every other spell school with certain battles we've done. Uh, especially with the ones that were really, really, really... Um, uh, yeah, the flock came in clutch with a lot of fights. So canned beans. That's my best assumption, buddy. If I was going to try and guess. If they fix the sleeper traits in the oncoming patch, uh, would we know them by now? I'm in the process of going through all of the current traits and then seeing um, and seeing which ones are now... No, it just gives me Felix. Okay, yeah, so this is bugged. I didn't get Gotrick. Can I recruit him as a hero? No. Is he wounded right now? No. So I will make sure to... I command here. By the way, I play? Thank you. I'll make sure to do a bug report of that and tell CA. And let them uh, hopefully fix that before it goes on to live. Because that needs yes. to be fixed before it goes to live. Otherwise, that's going to feel so bad for you guys. The nation calls. You know, you're excited to play with Gotrick and Felix and all of a sudden, that, you know, you don't get Gotrick. Although we do get replenishment, though. He does give us replenish hero. Which is nice. As a general, no. Godric's not a general. He's a uh, hero. Godric and Felix are now legendary heroes. As you can see, I can level up uh, Godric's specs. So, unfortunately, I didn't get access to Godric, so I do apologize. But this is what um, we have uh, for Felix. Uh, a lot of nice relative buffs for him. I think one of the things is, obviously, the helping hand is uh, where you can get the melee attack and resistances and things like that. He has quite a lot of replenishment. Uh, we also have Lethal Romancer, so he gets Charmed, which is pretty nice. For Kristen, uh, remembering Kristen's death at Manfred's hand stirs a lethal ferocity deep within Felix Jaeger. True. Sweet Talker, immune to diplomacy penalties from trespassing. That's really interesting. Uh, glorified Sentry gives Guardian. And last but not least, we get Committed Bloth Blood Oath. So he heals people around him. And then he it replaces the blood oath. This right here is why he's level 15, probably. Because, yeah. Level 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. No, you need to be level 16 to give him the bitter end. The blood oath does heal a lot. Um, It's only a little bit of a buff. 
It's only a tiny, weeny bit of a buff, but that replenishment will go a long way. Same thing happened with Fred, did it? Yeah. Yeah, that replenishment is going to go a really, really long way. Yeah, unfortunately, we've lost a lot of uh, Imperial authority. I'm, I'm struggling to recover it. I would imagine it's because of bloody Vlad. So we'll probably start to position ourselves accordingly to start fighting Vlad, I think, folks. Send Schwartz Helm in my stead. Um, thankfully, everything on this side, we can just utilize this province as a trading post. Gives a lot of trading resources. And it looks like Vlad is on the menu right now, boys. Vlad is, Vlad is going to be on the menu today, I think. Vlad is on the menu tonight. Uh, holy moly. Yeah, the Empire looks a bit like it's in shatters, honestly. But ain't that the truth? That's just, like, there's nothing you can do to stop that, I swear. That's just what happens. Do you know what I mean? That's just what it feels like always happens. Ooh, I can give this guy experience. 2.5k is not a lot, though. Yeah, it almost leveled him up. So we're going to be testing how big, uh, how much of a Giga Chad Generals of the Empire can become. Because their new skill trees that they get kind of looks pretty damn good. So I'm looking forward to using them. Outdoor level 4, nice. Turn 21 upgrading to tier 4 is pretty nice. But obviously we, we've maximized our growth output here, so kind of makes sense. Uh, we'll upgrade here. We're going to put Potter in here, upgrade the salt in there, then put growth in the building as well there. I would suspect at some point probably we'll be able to confederate uh, Marienburg. He's only one settlement, so, you know, he'll probably think to himself, it's probably better off by being with him. So proceeds from elect account fealty, plus 72, 27 per turn. So I'm assuming by owning certain points of the elect accounts, you then gain bonuses for it. It's pretty cool. Uh, one thing I'm curious about is if I use this and then I do... Where is it? Send aid. And then, boom, plus two. Can you just keep doing that then confederate them for free? Because then that doesn't... That's a really easy way of confederating. Kidlov not doing much on the north. Well, Kislev has killed Throt. So between Katarin and... Um, oh my god, what's he called? I always forget him because everyone forgets about him. What's his? What's the other Kislev legendary lord? I can't remember his name. Kostaltan. Kostaltan. Yeah, Kostaltan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kostaltan. Um, he must have helped her quite a lot, or they must have done it together. The bald guy. What me? <laughs> um, yeah, they, they they must have killed him together, or he has done it himself. Getting the Silver Seal is actually worth it, though. That's an insane thing. God, it feels really bad. Who calls? Not getting Gotrick kind of sucks. Make haste, but then. vampires are on the menu tonight. The nation calls. Do you want to get any upgraded units before we move? Because we kind of have the opportunity to get some cannons, maybe? Yes, my lord. Nah, agree. Uh, men of skill do now. Uh, the best of the empire gives recruit rank for your army. Lord recruit rank as well. Uh, you also gain melee attack for ranks guard, great swords. Uh, so just a ton of buffs towards ranks guard and great swords. The emperor's men is quite nice for the elective count units specifically. And then this is re a reduction for ranks guards. Honest Steel... No, Speed of Horses. That really sucks that this is the only buffs that get given to the Reichsguard. Like, honestly, if they had the Honest Steel, that would make him so much better, dude. Uh, can you show the accommodations across, can, buddy? Um, it is... Host Svestag Sigma Reich Dogma Imperial taxation, so some seem different slash better. And then obviously I'm using the growth one and construction cost.
I think for, I think honestly we'll be all right again. Wait, hold on. Who's gonna use? What can we use to kill Franz right now? Silver bullets and handguns right now. Hey, play. I wasn't doing well. How are you, buddy? How are you, lad? I think it's five mil attack and defense with resistance. Yeah, I get that, but I feel like the first skill should give them that, and then the second, like seven rank or above, should give them like something really cool as well. You know? Oh, these are still. Yeah, we'll do. Nice. Hopefully, um, Leon will deal with Grom. Hopefully, Leon will deal with Grom there. Uh, yep, let's get that all fealty for everybody once again. Camping movement range is actually really nice too. So there's a chance that they're within Flensburg, so we'll have a we'll we'll have to be careful. I am Prince and Emperor. Ooh, Kettle's Call, what is this? Summon a great hawk. A giant hawk. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. I'm assuming that's specific to the beast the mages. I would assume that's specific fine? to the beast mages. But this is the... Uh, not that one. This one. So we've got Call to Arms, which is recruitment cost stuff. Inquisition is reducing the um, corruption. So once we start taking this, we'll probably definitely do that because of the vampire corruption. Uh, we can replenish all the elector state troops. So if we have more of, a, if we have more of them, we can do that. We could declare war on Null uh, without having fealty loss. We can get... Oh, wow. Your your army instantly completes one turn of ongoing local and global recruitment. That's really nice. That's really, really nice. Uh, grants one population surplus to the target province. Oh, that's really good as well. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do that now. Wait, hold on. That's cheesable. Because if it's if it's a flat one population surplus, from tier four to tier five, you can get instantly. That's yeah. That's too strong. That's a little too strong. Yeah, Michael, I'm doing well. How are you? Was a tech to upgrade them? Oh, here. We'll go. We'll try that out then next. We'll we'll get uh, as much as we can. We'll smoke Vlad because because he's a nerd, and we'll do that. Mm -mm. That is so awesome. Yeah, that is really really strong. I think that's probably the strongest out of all of them. If I'm honest with you guys, where is the greatest dwarf at? All of them are the greatest because the dwarves. Facts. That's some facts right there. All all dwarves are great. That does feel really, really powerful, though. I won't lie to you guys. The fact that you can instant do recruitment of turn one, local and globally. You can get one population to plus. Crazy. The celestial... Crazy. That's like skipping a lot of potential requirements of growth. My orders are to move. Should I take Kemperbad? Will I take attrition here? Sigma compels us on no, let's bring them back. I swear to God, if I get um, trespassing penalties, I'm going to punch helmet to to batch. Looks like I don't. Looks like I don't. Yeah, I don't think I'm trespassing, which is good. I'm assuming they've fixed let's the go. issues regarding... So, by Sigma's right... Going now. Oh yeah, is it means just pollock trust policies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad they've changed that. I'm I'm so glad they've changed that. It's so annoying. And yeah, for some reason we didn't get uh Gotrick. It just didn't give us him. Uh, I'm actually how much money do I have? Nine thousand. I actually am going to go ahead and go into Persia the Fell. As I think the melee attack alongside leadership will really, really help me out here. Because I'm going to go... I'm going to be fighting vampire counts. Vlad is not going to be... A, he's no joke. Vlad is no joke at all. He's going to be very, very difficult to take down. 
So let's make sure I'm as prepared for it as I possibly can do, especially since I have a mainly melee-based composition as well, because I feel like it's just so worth doing. It still bugged? Yeah, I'm going to go into the bug post and shout about it again. Um... Yeah, I'm confused. Yeah, hopefully they'll fix that soon. Hopefully that is something that'll be fixed soon. Right. Ooh, Nemesis Crown versus Empire. The ancient and powerful artifact known as the Nemesis Crown whispers to me. Come get me, Battle Z. From a f somewhere in the Empire, promising great power should be taken into your stewardship. Visions flood your mind, revealing a glimpse of its location. The crown lies near a large forest in the Empire. Use any of your characters to search for the Nemesis Crown, based on the clue above. Having a character start a turn in the correct province will reveal the location of the Nemesis Crown Marker. Do you, do you guys know where it is? Do you guys... Why the hell is Beligar here? What? What? They are dishonored. Why is Beligar here? <laughs> That's kind of funny. A large forest. A grudge gone too far. This is Snorri Ironbrow. Hey, what's he fighting? The stupid undead scum. They shall perish beneath my axe. True. Brug is a layered hero and does not give him without the insult DLC. That makes sense, Michael. That would make sense. And thanks for the follows, guys. That would make sense. Yeah, there's a lot of forest here. Does anybody know for certain where the hell it is? The oh, it's randomized, really? Chaos oh my god, the changeling's right there. It's random, interesting. I did not expect it to be random. Let's get some leadership on my inventory then. You'll just see a green marker. Probably not that. Try getting on the DLC? Yeah, I will do. I see no other option. The Empire is hell right now. It always has been, lads. <laughs> it always has been. You'll tell me when to see it, thank you. And yeah, Screcker, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Oh, I thought he came and attacked me then. With the long pause, I'm always like, well, I'm being attacked. Hopefully we'll get some good experience uh, on Carl Franz so we can utilize that uh, with good regiments of renown. Low-key kind of annoying, he's taken a bit of Sterland. Bring me to my men. In the name of Magnus. Can I just go and attack the changeling? I'm pretty sure if I attack him, um, then he'll just he'll go invisible, right? Yes. Pretty sure he just goes invisible, right? We could return this to the Elector. Nah, be right. Whoa, why did Changeling moan? I do just moaned right next to me. Uh, let's get some more health. 
Felix go to replenishment and blade master. We'll take probably kneeling and give him back that. Jesus, Frank, Cal, he's taken a lot. I honestly would have hoped the Empire changes would have at least make them hold up against Vlad a little bit better. That is not the case. What do you think uh, personally is the most annoying terrain faction to fight, like an Athalorin, Kersways, or mountains? Mountains, Arvid. 100% mountain terrain is the most awful terrain to be in when you don't have underway. If you've got underway, it's fine, but if you don't, it's like torture. Not having underway stance in mountainous terrain is torture. What keeps her busy? Yeah, it's a really good point. I don't know what she's doing. Is she at war with him? She is at war with him. Alright, she's clearly just died to him as well. Love to see that for us. Oh, he's here. No. It's a good job he checked. Using the uh, alliance to see what she can see. Has identified his location. I will marshal the bed. That's through Mount Goodbye for reading for light? Yeah. Uh, Mount Goodbye has actually, it's actually gotten better, I'm pretty sure. They've made it a lot less awful. Thankfully. Ooh, welcome to Estalia, gentlemen. Hey, Boku. College of Magistrate. The Conclave of Battle Wizards. Um, probably dollar bills. And the mini tall walls for Ulrika. Although we've already got a really decent mage. I command here. Alright, Vlad, what are you doing, pal? You don't have a full army, thankfully, for us. He does not have a full army, so we'll have to see. Stormhammer, am I very close to... Wait, how many am I away? Wait, I'm 9 subscribers off 10,000 on YouTube. I'll show you guys. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm nine subs away from uh, 10,000 on YouTube. That's mad. Uh, join more against Scrag. No, thank you. Let me get eight. Thank you, Otter. It's one of those things where I, I really never like to remind people to subscribe because I think it's just rude. Oh, we've literally just hit 10,000. <laughs> Yo, we've just hit 10,000 subs on YouTube. Thanks, boys. That's Pog. That is hella dope. Thank you, boys. I really do appreciate it. 10,000 subs, eh? Wow. Thank you, lads. I really do appreciate all the love and support, boys. You guys are the best. Appreciate all the support. Appreciate you guys being awesome. Congrats. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Fun fact, if you say subscribe in a video, the, the button will highlight. Really? I didn't know that. I legit did not know that. So if I just, if I like for 30 seconds in a video, just like subscribe, 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 subscribe. <laughs> Does that make it so that they, uh, it'll be highlighted loads and it'll be like a disco? Will it turn it into a bit of a disco and at that point they're going to just kind of have to? That would be funny if so. Uh, Ick, what is Durthu and Ikik? Well, this is just... Ikit, what is your army, chief? Wait, has Ikitclaw lost all of his weapon teams? Did Ikitclaw lose all of his weapon team? Honestly, I swear to God, like, the Empire feels like a buffet for every other faction. I swear to God, they're like, hmm. Now that's a tasty treat right there. What, all of this land? That's free real estate. It's free real estate. That's literally what the AI thinks, I swear to God, man. Absolute free real estate for everybody. Crazy. Right, so let me ask Toddy. Will come in peace. 
Uh, I'll take your money there, and I'm going to ask if I'm going to declare war on you. You give me a hundred because I've just scammed. I've just taken all your money. Understand? Understood. Have a nice day. Tell back land. I've just resurrected you, my friends. Do you come in peace? One point eight k. Sure. I'll kill fastest here. His defeat rate's really nice too. Scholar, summon the elect accounts. I am. Absolutely, summon the elect accounts. Honestly, super easy fight. Super, super easy fight. Is there a nail skin rework on the uh, roadmap? I hope so. I just want, I want to fight Vlad because that's what we're gonna. That's where the epic like battles are gonna occur. Forces. We have a really nice replenishment because of uh, because of Felix as well, which is nice. Plus him hitting level two allows us to go into the next tree of the replenishment. Uh, Emperor's men we're gonna go into because we actually have quite a lot of electric counts. Where's Gotrick? Didn't spawn in. Annoyingly did not spawn in, but we'll. Uh, I think CA are aware of it. To the provinces. Let's go into Imperial training and let's make this guy a bigger giga chat as much as we can. This is for, this is purely testing experience. I want to see how much of a giga chat I can make this Empire Knight. Like he's already. What does the Emperor bid? Like already, he's actually kind of just as strong as Franz. Like 6243. 62.43. Lot more armor. Better charge bonus, though. But this guy's still got a lot to go. We've still got Survival Instincts, War Hero, Heroic Killing Blow. And we've still got um, Blade Masters to go into. Friends hits harder. But we're not even on my bet amount. Once we get on the Imperial Grithin, then we probably will hit harder. We're not even on the bet amount. Just yet. Plus, we don't have... Um, I think Dragon Tooth might make him stronger as well. Is it time? Right. Sigma. Yes, my lord. No. I, it's honestly, it's literally a buffet for everybody, I tell, I tell you. It's a buffet for anyone that comes to the Empire. This faction. Oh, we got a lot of money from Festus. Jesus. Uh, local recruitment for Reichsguard to one. That's pretty nice. So we could get a Reichsguard Doomstack going. Oh my god. In three turns, I can get to tier five. Because of this. And... Where is it? This one. Open the gates. Gives me a, a one population surplus flat. The Empire. Uh, Regiments are renowned. I'm not too bothered about. Uh, did I take work bad? So I can actually put you into work bad, which gives us another unit actually. Uh, which is giving us crossbowmen. For a second, I thought they had a machine gun. Looking at this, but it's just suppression. Um, it could be useful. 176 range is really nice. We do have the tech that increases our range of uh, of our range units, missile units. Which is definitely nice. We're going to go Conclave of the Light because I really want to upgrade the uh, the Conclave too. Uh, we're going to play slow. For this turn, we're going to play a little bit slower than usual. Oh my god, the temptation of, of getting that outpost in there. But obviously I can't recruit them. <laughs> The temptation. Phoebe Buffet. Ah, oh, friend is goated. What's everyone's favorite friend's character? Mine was Joey, I think. What a lovable hunk. Good times. I guess it depends on your age, right? If you watched it or not. Is Marcus Wolfhart, the Empire faction guy in Lustria, affected by the change of the Empire? As far as I'm aware, no. As far as I'm aware, he didn't really get anything changed too much. Obviously, the, I would imagine the DLC unit stuff would, would have had an impact on that. But I'm not not sure. You never watched it? Fair. Chandler? The crazy thing about Chandler, the the, the actor in, in Friends, he was like drunk all the time, apparently. Uh, what I could do... I could have reduced the corruption here, but I didn't. I probably should have done. Wait, hold on. Why am I taking attrition? It's 41. Interesting. 
So the threshold of corruption uh, to do attrition is, is higher now. Beforehand, if it was below 50, you wouldn't take attrition. Yes. In the name of Magnus. Interesting that's the decision with it. I thought it was 25, was it? I swear below four, uh, 50 used to was a cutoff. I swear below 50 was a cutoff. But obviously, I very well might be wrong. And I'm happy to be wrong as well. Honestly, I'm happy to be wrong. Uh, I'm gonna... Can I disable the notification for the outpost? Outpost available. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let's disable that outpost notification then. Boom. One really nice tip that you can do there. One really nice tip. Dodging Felix had a song. It would be the Friends theme song. Yeah, that would be a pretty dope theme song for him. How does it affect public order? Sorry, how does what affect public order, David? Sorry. Corruption. Uh, reduction to... Yeah, normally corruption reduces public order. Has a crisis triggered or something? Nope, funny enough, not. All right, Vlad's force matched. This guy's force matched, and s this person isn't. So if I retreat um, and retreat again, I can then individually attack them. I take attrition myself, but I can separate them out. So it's a really important thing to check that, guys, if they're actually force matched or not. Super important thing to check. Although, annoyingly, they're all together again. If I attack this guy, is Vlad involved? I command here. Wait, why can't I attack him? Nanny? Summon the elector counts. Why can't I attack? Is there a notification of something? It is time. I don't agree with that. I'll ignore that. I'm in the zone of control of the settlement, but it's not letting me hit it. Yeah, I understand it. I mean, there's under control of the city. It's just I can't click on the city to attack it. Do not take me for a fool against Sigma's teachings. Who called? All of my stuff is bugged. I will march. Like I can't attack anything. I am prince and emperor. How can I fix this? The army's blocked the bridge. If that's the case, I'd be able to attack the Sullivan. Looks bugged. Your stance is grayed out. Yep, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we reload. We're gonna have to reload. Sorry, boys. Honestly, should I go for that fight? It could be good content. I might try that fight because it could be good content. If I have to fight them, I'll give it a go, I think. Maybe a scheme of the changeling. I think... Can the changeling make all of your armies stay still? Can the, can the changeling make all of your armies stay still? Unless the changeling... Kairos... And village all work together. Can I win it? Possibly. If I play it perfectly, yeah. Absolutely. Wasn't Holt faction removed? Yeah, I always thought they got rid of it. Because it, it would have told me. It would have been like, oh, by the way, you've been forced. You've been frozen, my dude. Didn't tell me. And storms shall sunder the skies. And war will tear the world apart. And the dead shall rule the lands. 
from a heretical text written by an unknown Chimerian author. So that's Tomb Kings. Right, we'll give this. We'll give the fight a go. Because our oh, annoyingly Vlad to second second army coming in. If the if Vlad was a third army coming in, it, he he would have to be, wait to join the battle. I command here. What does the emperor bid? Yes, a sound plan. On march. Kind of need yes. Franz's army to attack. Right, since I know everyone's just gonna everyone and their nan's gonna come and attack me. I have an eye. Oh my god, no. Hold on. No, I've already spent the uh, prestige. I really needed prestige. The nation calls. Is it time? Who can I replace? I need Vla uh, friends to be attacked because I'm in encamp stance. It gives me such better chance of surviving. Attrition won't tick into this turn. Let me make sure everyone's got the best gear so they can. Bring me to my men. I really should have gotten... Um, upgrades here. Nice, he's on his death core at least. That's going to be really good. I should have gotten all of his quest items. Just pure laziness, honestly. So if Franz gets attacked, we'll have a lot better opportunity here. Because I can actually set up my army accordingly. Petition, no wow, this didn't happen last time. Uh, I will actually give him that. Because I can't afford to fight him just yet. Okay. Vlad is force marched. So a lot of the stuff in these armies are non-threats, right? Crazy this is a valiant defeat. Also a shame we're not full HP. How much ammunition do we have on these guys? 20 a pop. Terrain's not incredible. If I can get these both in here, we might be able to like cycle charge Vlad. Or kill Isabella in the air. If we can kill the wizards in the air, we'll have a good chance here. Yeah, he's on Deathclaw, you can see. Untick large armies, but that's... It's not going to make much of a difference, guys. It really won't. Because since Vlad is the second army coming in and reinforcing, uh, he's the only problem, right? If there was a situation where Vlad was third or fourth, unticking it would have value. But Vlad's going to come into the battlefield no matter what. Because by by ticking this off, right? Um, it, this allows you to take up to 40 units on the battlefield at once, right? Whereas I'm pretty sure unticking it, like, is in it the Wild West. But we've got a lot of Winds of Magic. Uh, if they start stacking, we can obviously use the grenade launchers and the mortars. Um, we have the hand gunners for when they come close. I think we're fine. I think we're going to be okay. This is four out of four army. Oh, if you untick, it's 40. If you tick, it's 40. If you untick, it's 20. Ah, be re. You know, sometimes you gotta just send it. Alright, let's get a prediction up. Sometimes it's time to send it, you know? There's no rhyme or reason, but sometimes you've just gotta send it. As long as I pay, if I play it correctly, I should be fine. I'm pretty sure. I have the tools to be successful in this scenario. Okay, not ideal terrain, I won't lie to you guys. The terrain is not ideal. I won't lie. Uh, really unfortunate terrain. So Vlad is all the way onto the left side here. Uh, yeah. So if the wizards come in, we might be able to skirmish them with my hero alongside uh, Cal Franz. I've got the tools, but I don't have enough ammo. Yeah, probably not. My front line will hold. For a good amount of time, boys. I honestly am not sure about this one, though. I haven't done a, a battle like this in a while. 
where I'm, I have to like perfectly min-max it. I've got to be really careful of the elevation here now. So as long as I've elevated my uh, miss, uh, handgunners, we should be okay. We can put gaps into the uh, the spear line. I mean, these guys have 59 melee defense, so you should assu you'd assume they're going to be okay. You know, you'd assume they'd be fine. As long as we're getting the uh, great sword buffs in there as well. Uh, let's have these guys in reserve, just ensuring that we're protecting the side. Um, Hangunners in the middle, positioned in a skirmishing manner. Uh, we'll get the mortars in the middle of that. Great swords holding that left, uh, the right flank, excuse me. Uh, right guard are going to be sitting inside of there. We're going to need to skirmish with you. Okay, the mage is on a mount as well. Oh, if we had Amber Spear, that'd be huge, man. Amber Spear actually would have gone pretty hard here. Um, good news is, with this side, we can probably open up the box a little bit to shoot through this direction if we need to. Um, yeah, let's give it a go, eh, boys? So this guy's guard mowed up. And await hell on earth. Sigma, guide me. I am your servant. Guide me and lead me from temptation. I don't think they have any range units, which would be good. Yeah, he starts with one of the great swords. Yeah, it's really nice. Sigma, guide my blade. Allow it to meet the throat of Vlad von Karstein. Yeah, the Crypt Horrors are going to need to be killed by the handgunners. I'm curious to see... Yeah, it looks like Vlad's coming in first. What I'm going to do is a bit of cheese, actually. I'm going to have to. Uh, what I'm going to do is run towards the wizards here. So, Isabel, come on, baby. Come on, babe. You know you, you, know you want to come and attack me right now. Come on. Uh-oh. Come on, babes. Come on. Look how sexy Cal Franz is. You cannot deny it. You can't deny the sex in... My game's just crashed. You can't deny the sexiness of this man. Clearly, clearly the game thinks so, too. That's how I have to play it, though. That's 100% how I've got to play it. If I can bait them in, we're fine. That's really annoying, though. That would have been really, really good. That actually would have been so good. Is that a loss? No. The game crashing when we've not even attempted anything yet is not a loss. Too sexy for the game to handle, true. Rude crashes seem more often. Yeah. It's honestly when you try and draw. Do you know when you're trying to draw your line? Like your the where your troops should go with shift? Look at this, an Empire Soldier song. Tomorrow we go to war to face the hosts of chaos. Tomorrow we will be buried in cold graves that await us. That's not chirpy at all. Bloody hell, boys, that's right depressing. I thought it was gonna be like, tomorrow we go to war and kick some ass. But it's, we go to face, you know, we're going to be buried. Jesus, guys, come on. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to uplift them, not remind them they're going to die tomorrow. You know, to each their own, though. You know, different styles of, uh, you know, getting people hyped up, I suppose. Oh. Walmart <laughs> doesn't allow cheery unless it's sucks, true. Uh, same timing as intentional. Yeah, you can save in Ledger now. Honestly, having Gelt here would be nice. Having Gelt here to remind my soldiers that, um, they're basically worthless and he needs gold. The transmutation of, of money on Gelt's campaign is cool. I like it. Am I allowed to confederate him? No. Uh, confederate? Uh, no. I could confederate the faction, take the screen off, and then delete her. But I can't really delete her. Delete all DLC-esque units, as I'm not allowed to show them at all. It would be a no-no to do that. It would be a no-no. Right, let's set up again. Let's think about how we set up again. As it's really critical we set up in a similar manner because it was actually really good. 
Great Swords in the middle to provide the buffs. Hangon is here. Hangon is here. Mortar's there. Grenade launch is up front. Gonna need to. Wax guard in the flanks to protect us. These three fellas. Uh, Signar Sons to hold the line because you're unbreakable. And on that side as well. I think we have to do a little bit of a double, a, a, a bit of a double layer here. The reason why you want to be front heavy is because you can be more reactive with the front side of your uh, forces because you can peel them off. As long as I see them flanking around, I'll know to peel off, right? right as long as Gil, uh, as long as we can go bait them out. Wait, can you? Wait, you as interesting. When you have a flying mount, you can't go one speed. Like you can't go the slowest speed. Interesting. Guess it makes sense. You can't go the slowest speed. Right, come on, babes. Let's do the same thing with you. Last time that spell bugged and it didn't work. I swear. Alright. Hangunners. <laughs> Get ready, lads. We got some sexy vampire waifus on the way. I got dibs on Isabel. Yo, Corvus, I'm doing well. How are you, bud? Oh, Isabel, you absolute tease. Absolute tease, love. Oh, she's really been a right awkward little bugger here, isn't she? That really didn't go well. That's not what I was looking for at all. I want to shoot the snot out of her, not this. At least I've used all the debuffs. Shoot the hangar. Uh, shoot the bats coming in. I mean, getting rid of uh, getting rid of threats like this really early on is always going to be a good thing anyway. And Isabel is getting crushed right now. Giga Chad Calfranz confirmed. Franz is a Giga Chad confirmed. I shouldn't have complimented him because he's already starting to waver. Get those Vargeists. Is Isabel dead already? Wait, Isabel is dead already? Wow. Shoot that chick right in front. Shoot those bats. All right, now Vlad's going to be the problem. The mage is getting battered. Let's summon these guys. Oh my god, look at that close range shot. Oh no, this is really bad. If he routes, we're so boned. Dude, that looks sick AF. Holy crap. If he, if he routes off the battlefield, the, the, this is probably lost. We we need you. Monschief, you... Oh my goodness, this is going to be so bad. Monschief, please recover. I'm not even going to look. I've just got a praise and retreat. Okay, it's doomed. Okay, we're in trouble. Yep, we're in a lot of trouble now, boys. My... We have no mage. That's not good. We've lost our mage, which is super bad. Let's recover my lines here. Just run away from the dogs. They're trying to flank us here. Oh, it's so bad. We need to reposition now. We need to try and open up opportunities to shoot Vlad as well here. And this storm thingy is going to be brutal as well. Let's pull these guys back to be hidden. Right, let's open up the, uh, let's move these guys towards this way to protect that side. 
Move the mortars a little bit further back now. I uh, am kind of afraid of Vlad now. So much unused magic. Yep. It's a shame he routed as quick as he did. As long as I deal with uh, Vlad here, we should be able to just win out. Just need to keep an eye on what's going on. I'm gonna get Vlad over. Uh, I'm gonna get on this side of the path. Oh, this is bad. Nice. So hopefully, just tank this for as long as we can. Uh, we need elevation to shoot Vlad. Let's turn you guys this way. Shoot the skeleton warriors, move us this side a little bit just to hold positioning for those guys. Beautiful damage coming from the great launchers right now. Put layer them in a situation where they can actually be useful though. Is there grave guards over this side? No, those are skeleton warriors, but it's worth shooting. Okay, good. Let's push up now. Uh, we need to get into. Vlad's also going to keep spamming that on us. Oh, this sucks, but we just can't get hits on Vlad. I just need... I need an opening to shoot Vlad. And I can probably, like, one-shot him near enough. Let's shoot these outriders onto, onto the far right... Uh, on the units on the back. Oh my god, this got wiped. Holy crap, these units are insane. They just one-shot them. They just legitimately one-shot the entire backline there. Wait, where, why are you not on your mortars? Get any mortars. Yep, pretty much the same over here. Well, that's good to see, at least. Okay, Vlad's actually sh attacking these guys, which is actually quite helpful. It looks bad, but it's actually quite good. You're holding that side. Good. Keep running over here. Move the outriders over. Get warriors of you. Keep cutting Vlad now. I'm just going to keep trying to fight his uh, and kill his team. It's a team. Kill his army. Killing his army here is the way to do it. Killing Vlad right now is just too difficult. So if there's, if there's ways I can ignore Vlad, I'm going to. Let's get sacrifice units to attack him. That's it. Uh, let's go in here and help over this side. I got so much ammunition to use. Vlad's got another spell of that. It's annoying. Got a really nice follow there, actually. Let's thick provision again. Oh my god, this these are not balanced. These are just simply, it's just not balanced, I'm telling you, boys. Nice, we staggered him, we staggered him, we staggered him. Nice, 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 nice. That's what we're looking for. That's how you kill Vlad. You stagger him as much as you can with ranged. Let's shoot from this direction now. Pull my cavalry out. Shoot the grave guards over here. Nice, really nice cycle charge by the by uh, friends there. Let's move and reposition to shoot into these zombies just to clear that out. Let's get friends over this side. Uh, let's cover this line here as well. This is not balanced. Oh my god! <laughs> I have never seen I have never seen a unit be this good. I think they, they completely fixed their hitboxing. They fixed all their hitboxes. It's, this, this is the reason why they're hitting so much and doing so much damage. All of the hitbox and line of sight issues they had have all been fixed. You can tell. Crazy, dude. Okay, now we just want to do front to back. 
And then these guys will just kill them all. Okay, if, uh, oh my god, there's so many more units coming in. Our orders ready. Uh, let's just do a volley into here for a second. Just keep, keep these guys not attacked for a little bit. Outriders. 15 ammunition. Gotta be careful with it. Great hits. Fire guys is coming over. Make sure my cavalry is not going to be attacked. Let's pull them away. Let's get them over. As long as I keep running, we should be fine. Friends and thingy will protect them, and then the handgunners uh, should finish them off. Good. I want to get onto the left flank again now. Just ignore Vlad where we can now. Reposition you over here, actually. I want the bus from this unit, so I'm going to reposition them. Uh, let's go for the Lord here. Friends should be capable of doing it. Okay, Vla Felix is fighting Vlad for a little bit. That's fine. Get the cavalry onto the dogs. See if we can get shots into Vlad, because it really would help balance the power-wise. That general's sort of on their own for a second here, so let's take advantage of that situation and get a volley off. And then pull off these swordsmen now. Um, get some shots into these spearmen. Get friends and then this general back. Oh my days, dude. Uh, okay. And yeah, they are permanent. Gotcha, Felix are permanent indeed. Wow, we're actually getting good damage to Vlad now. How much ammunition? 13? I need an engineer. Or something, some just some engineer like that to give me loads of ammunition. That'd be huge. Pull you guys away. Nice, a good thing is since Felix is tanking, the handgunners have really good line of sight at the moment. Let's pull these guys over here as well. To help with that. Let's stop shooting for a second. Okay, that general's dead now. Good. I honestly think we can just go bomb, uh, like, bomb and bum rush uh, Vlad right now. The Empire endures. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these guys over to the side. I'm going to keep my melee front line here, though. Well, my single entities should be able to take this out. Uh, let's just try and focus on the ones that are the most damaging. Let's focus on the units that will do the most damage to me here. The Empire Outriders, sir. Nice. Spearman. I want to keep these guys just as stable as we can. Let's shoot the uh, can race here. Take the Let's pull around, actually. Pull back a second. To me, okay, Vlad's now dead, which is huge. Okay, they actually do have civilian crossbow along. Uh, we've got 10 ammunition. I don't want to waste that, so let's pull back again. Pull the swordsman up. Okay, Vlad has just died. Huge. Uh, are we healing? Can Felix heal me right now? Uh, unit is a hero or lord? I am being healed. Huge. Huge. Okay, pull over this side. Let's grab these halberdiers. Let's protect the left flank here just to make sure these guys are okay with all that's coming over that side. Reposition these guys onto this way. Over this side because they're going to be better off shooting in here. Because these are all single entities so they won't take too much damage from the grid launchers. Take advantage of the situation because they've uh, left their crossbow on their own. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push these guys up to shoot these guys. And then reposition these guys to protect the uh, outriders. Oh my god, my PC's yes, chug my chugging like crazy at the moment. But army I mean, lost bonus has kicked in. Who needs a wizard, bros? Who needs a wizard when you've got these boys? <laughs> Holy! 
That was four Vlad armies. That was four Vlad armies, and we've we've hardly were dented, boys. Oh. GG boys, GG's. Mm -mm. Should be fine. Pyrrhic victory, you say? Pyrrhic victory. I didn't even lose half my army. I had no right to win that. I'm just a goat, what can I say? You got uh, Raphael's song stuck in your head. Well, it's a good song, you're welcome. It's a good song, you're welcome. I mean, from a like from all my all my units did put in work. Yeah, the great souls were, were doing work. Now let's see how many of them survived. I'm not going to be happy if most of them survive. Like Vlad and Fennis, we can deal with Vlad. But if most of those guys come back to life, that'll suck. And why is the goat? He's the goat! Nice, Vlad's dead. Good. I wonder if you capped at 1,000 prestige. Wow, we got 10,000 experience from that. 7,489 gold. Vlad did. Vlad died there, good. I mean, the, the, what they have, Michael, is bats, right? It's bats that um, they need. The bats would definitely make that really difficult. High mercenaries, sure. Right. Bring me to my men. I think if we just win this battle here, we'll have completely wiped out his momentum here completely. Summon the Elector Counts. What's them raised dead 26 army? What, what would they have raised dead? Yeah, they haven't raised dead. Thank God. Because they all ran away, didn't they? Because they lost. Casualties, 9,000. That would be an insane body pile. My goodness. That would be an insane body pile. Thankfully. Nah, I'm gonna need to go to I need to go in the red tree, honestly. Friends is good, but uh Buff on my army's gonna be good enough. And Mon's Chief did great work there to get two levels. Well deserved Mon's Chief. I am Prince and Emperor. It's not like you ran away like a coward. I am Franz. They will obey. That's <laughs> sprightly manling. Years of adventuring and the many dangers faced along the way have made Felix fast on his feet and hard to pin down. What does the Emperor bid? He is a sprightly manling indeed. So Right. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. It's annoying it's a settlement. Wait, is Isabel not in the fight? Nice, Isabel's not in this fight. To battle! To war! My god, my PC is chugging, I can tell. Uh, this should be fine. And thank you, Stonehammer. It's always the guys that win that remind me that uh, I did a prediction. And thank you for the reminder. See so updated skills for Captain General and Witch Hunters? Yeah. It's good that they've given a little bit of love, for sure. And the old time top with hundreds of units, skellies, yeah. Do you guys, out of interest, I'm curious what you guys think. Do you guys think it was a good design practice as the skeletons uh, to have armies of skeletons that were free? 
Was that good game design for the vampires? Yay or nay? Yay or nay? Good game design. Free skeleton armies. Because for me... Yeah, you guys like that? The only issue that I had with it, right, was this. It forced you to play in a very boring manner, though. It forced you into having a really, really boring army and just using your lord to kill everything. And that's sort of all you could do. Taking a delay? Um... Yes, but thanks for great. Oh, sorry, I was talking to my partner. Pardon? Uh, yeah, wherever it is, then. I will not right. Have we deployed all the way here? No, we have not. I just have to be aware of these guys coming into the battle. They should be fine. Right, let's just run over and murder these guys, then. Wait, is this guy flying now? Okay, good. I don't know what you do, especially with Vlad. Yeah, kind of true. Not really, it would be fun. Fair. They were more fun, so I'd say good. You still have a very plowing manner. Oh, cross max. Twinsies. Great man sink alike. If they didn't nerf the healing, we would see uh, new styles. You need to nerf the healing of vampires, though. Vampires have too, too much access and availability of, of healing. It's too... It, uh, yeah, it would be brutal. I mean, some of you may remember. Right, actually, this is a really interesting test. Folks, humor me. This is going to be a really interesting test. How many people in the chat played Warhammer 1? Type 1 in the chat if you played Warhammer 1. Type 2 if you didn't. I'm kind of curious how many people actually played Warhammer 1. Or if you came in at Warhammer 3. Let's do a test. Let's do a test, boys. Let's do a test. A lot of you guys did. Okay. Okay, a lot of you folks actually did. Three was your first one, that's fair. Came in during Warhammer 2. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, I don't believe the infinite healing for vampires was in then, though. Many of came in two. That does make sense, because it was two... What was it, ten, ten years ago now? Yeah, it was like ten odd years ago now, right? God, I really like this, this, the eagle ability. Yeah, but in Warhammer 1, uh, the vampires used to be able to infinitely heal. I, I'm not even joking. You legit had infinite healing as vampires in Warhammer 1. It was wild. It was absolutely wild. But yeah, it's, it's interesting to see that there is... It's like a split between it. A lot of folks have stuck with this franchise, but a lot of folks got hooked in during Warhammer 2, I feel like. Mm -mm. Eight years? I swear they signed the agreement with Games Workshop ten years ago. I might be mistaken, though. I might be mistaken, though. Because he needs to fight the Vampire Lords and Heroes and the army would crumble, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was a, it was very different back in the day. Back in the day. Back in my day. Back in my day. In fairness, I didn't play a massive amount in Warhammer 1. I just played the Dwarves, honestly. I only I only just played Dwarves when I played uh, Warhammer 1. I would do a uh, an alliance between my mate and I. There's a good mate of mine called Dan. I would play the Dwarves, he'd play the, uh, the Empire. And we'd absolutely smoke nerds. Good times. When were the update? The 30th. Just glad you had the 30th meeting. Nice. Crushing these guys. Ready for war. Mm -hmm. I'm the right. What's everyone's next Legendary Lord they'd like to see? What's your guy's next Legendary Lord you'd love to get in the game? I would love... Thankwall. I think Thankwall would be really cool. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if like a Thankwall, Sigmar, Nagash kind of thing... Dogs of War. Mm. 
If Dogs of War come out, it would make sense for Aranessa to be inside of Dogs of War, though. If I'm honest. It would make perfect sense for them to... If Aranessa does have that, it, she should be in Dogs of War instead. I don't really care as long as it's good. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, we're really having a difficult time here. I don't think Nagash should be playable. Yeah, I feel like it would be a dangerous thing putting Nagash in the game. Because he's either, either going to feel really garbage because he's not really OP. So yeah, I get what you mean. But yeah, Nagash, Jim, like, honestly, having Nagash in the game is, is literally the end times, right? But then that would be pretty cool because you could have, like, a specific campaign scenario where you have Nagash and you've got Sigma fighting against each other. Or you could be like the Skaven interrupting their plans and stuff. It, yeah, there's a, there's a couple things you could probably do. It's pretty cool. We are Sigma's ass. There's probably a couple pretty cool things you can do. Like a new game mode, right? Rip and tear. Just like the Denied for the Selesh. Also, do you think that's going to come in the next DLC? Because aren't they doing the uh, Selesh next? I want to blow up the moon. That, that was a fellow inside of... Um, Skaven Blight, it wasn't Ick, it wasn't. It was somebody inside of Clan Scry. That blew the moon up. I'm right, gonna have to be careful with the Crypt Horrors. We should get End Times Total War. Honestly, since Warhammer 3 is their last in the franchise, they very much could go to the elements of having um, End Times in there. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they put End Times in there. They, they, they absolutely could. Depends if they get access. It depends if they're allowed to by Games Workshop, right? Because to me, it would make perfect sense, but... Very well. Moving out. Lot of Lords draw off? Yeah, it really is, lad. I... Lord of the Rings Total War, do you money? No, you see, there's, it's an interesting debate because people often say that there's not enough content. Um, there won't be enough content if you do a Lord of the Rings Total War. Because it's how dissimilar is it to... Uh, Warhammer 3, right? Outriders. And thank you for the follow. Thanks for all the follows, guys. Appreciate it. Once Chief is dying, he'll be fine. He's been there, done that, you know what I mean? He's been there, done that. He'll be re. What are halflings? They're just growing in dwarves. Three more. Uh, no, the humies. The humies. Just tiny humies. Halflings are very, very cool. I would love to see halflings in the game as well. I would love to see halflings. Tomb Kings are very weak. Nah, Tomb Kings aren't weak. IMO. I think a lot of the Tomb Kings is pretty strong. Didn't Games Workshop say they didn't want end times in the Hunter 3 series? Oh, really? But, I mean, it's one of those things where money talks, you know what I mean? Especially for Games Workshop. If they think they're going to make money on it, they probably will do it, right? Before they saw... If it was a while back and it was, like, before, what, like, the release of Warhammer 1. Now, with it being super successful, they probably would reconsider it. Warhammer 2 era. I mean, I feel like Warhammer 3 is way bigger than Warhammer 2 was. Like, maybe I'm wrong, but I do feel like it's a bigger game. Like, there's more people playing actively. But it sucks it takes them so long to turn around. My goodness, when they do. We're on Ikit era. Well, Ikit era was kind of peak around the time. Bloody hell, there's so many of the buggers to the left. I didn't just go somewhere? Okay. Quick match. Hey, Solaring. BC or Brett have no new toys in ages. Yeah, true. Bretonia would be my favorite one if they were to do something. I would love to see something to do with Bretonia. I would absolutely love to see something to do with Bretonia. 
God, Felix existing giving Blood Oath is so insane. So strong. Like, everyone's getting healed up to full. I'll take it. Mm, we're struggling. Can you shoot over with grenade launchers? Probably not with the firing arc, right? They'd have to, like, shoot directly up. I mean, holy moly. That's still pretty good. Do I think they'll nerf it? What, nerf the grenade launchers? Um, it depends. It was a comment about Storm Fiends, actually. Yeah, Storm Fiends, um, the only Warhammer game that has the IP for Storm Fiends is, is Vermintide. I think the reason for that is they don't want to diminish the value of the, the units by making multiple games have access to it. I remember that. Um, yeah, they only, they're only allowing it for Vermintide. Isn't the Empath Vampire Girl also? Yes, uh, Ulrika is indeed. I think the, just the roster of Bretonia needs to be vamped up a bit with, not, with more interesting units. Because it, it's uh, in um, Old World, they have um, foot Bretonian knights uh, uh, on foot, right? So stuff like that would be a huge plus for Return her in game. Alright, friends, eat good, buddy. This little pesky vampire is running away from me. Maybe we need to do a double sandwich here. We're the bread, he's the meat. Oh, okay, never mind. Alright, let's get a third person chasing him. <laughs> Getting a gang all together here, I tell you, Jesus. Getting a gang all together. Hey, darling. Alright. Cheers. Alright. There we go, we've caught him now. Absolutely caught. You really do get a um, absolute squad going together with the Empire eventually. Having a really powerful flying unit is so nice. I should not have cast into that. Hey, Grackle. Are they protecting the Fane Chatter's feet? Who knows? I still can't believe when I learned that the Fane Chantress is an elf. Not the Fane Chantress, excuse me, the, uh, the lady. The Lady of Bretonia is literally an elf. I felt betrayed, and I'm not even a Bretonian. I felt completely betrayed, and I'm not even a Bretonian. Imagine worshipping an elf. Lamau. Is she really not? Well, I mean, by the definition of you saying she's an elf, I would say so, I. Alright. Alright, Kurt needs to be a wee bit careful. Isn't she an elven goddess? Yeah, but I mean, she's an elven goddess, right? It's not like she's a Bretonian goddess, you know? Yeah, I guess the lines with it are pretty blurred, right? Right, let's see how decent this spell is. I love the sound of it. Oh, wow, that was enough to add my last bonus. I'll take it. Hey, Tone Zone. Um, be a content creator. It's it's for content creators. We have a build for it specifically at the moment. To the War Age of Sigma. Who knows, mate? Ace, it'd be dope if they do, but who knows? So I would be intrigued to see how they would implement it, though. I'd be very intrigued. Wow, we only lost 48 troops. I don't know if may have counted the returning goddess still. Yeah. I guess it depends on how you look at it, right? Things are holding battle. Um, 
I know they've done some more, like, VFX changes to make it look better. It's next week. The 30th. Uh, right. Is it next week? Because the week after it gets released. I command here. The really cool thing about getting um, health. Nice, we've got a multi now. The really cool thing about getting HP is it just it gives you health. It actively gives you HP, which is nice. Nice. I am Prince and Emperor. What does the Emperor bid? Now. I am Prince and Emperor. The, the Luminac does go really hard. Bring me to my men. She is 5,000 for siege and it's capped at 1,000. We have a lot of money. Hold on, how well are uh, Kislev doing? Is it worth me becoming friends with them? Mistress oh, it is. Of ice. Seems like it is. Wait, is she trading with... Um... They are one people. Yeah. Malachi. Right, guys, if you could have any total war in the game, if there's any type of total war that you wanted what total war would you want Chaos. like 40k total war lord of the rings total war my little pony total war you know you know what would you want obviously probably not the latter but world war 2 would be interesting lord of the rings surely like some kind of uh world war 2 would be pretty interesting 40k yeah a mad max total war is an interesting idea Total War Battlesy? The nation Halo is an interesting idea. Battlesy Total War, okay. Is that sort of like, do you know when people fill out forms and put their religion as like random memes? Is that like something yes, similar? To unite the provinces. You guys are just memeing me right now. Total War, Total War? But what does that mean? God, it sucks we're getting permanently re um, ramp. Um, what we call it? Raided. Wow, we need 14,000 for that. Let me not do that then. And not do these. Game of Thrones could be interesting. Have you have you played the uh, Game of Thrones Bannerlord mod? Really good. So well done. I honestly do think a Warhammer 2 or Warhammer Total War would work. I, I think Trench Warfare would be doable. War calls. I honestly think Trench Warfare would be doable. Fight for our nation. Like, I'm generally certain that that could be a thing. Raise your weapons. The Warhammer... Uh, no, didn't what they changed. Counts. We'd be insanely profitable and do totally doable. I mean, it's one of those interesting things where everybody said that CA wasn't going to make a good Warhammer game, a Total War Warhammer game, and look where they are now, you know? Right, so what we're going to do, 
So instead of instead of waiting nine turns, what I'm going to go ahead and do is go into this, and then get another population surplus. Then upgrade it to tier five. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, ready. Not bad at all, eh? Not bad Let at all. Move. Bring me to my men. In the the three CD cooldown? Yeah, it is pretty silly, honestly. Are hangers, hangers good? Yes, I would recommend them. I'm in the process of figuring out if the uh, reactiveness and the hitbox and stuff is better. It does feel that way. Bring me to my men. Tier 5 Artdolf, turn 35 is insane. Well, Skreklau, have you seen the one where I did it in turn 20? Playing Gelt. <laughs> Reminds you to do it at turn, at turn 20 with Gelt. Right, let's go around here now. Upgrading. Let's go around. Let's check out these provinces now. My plan. God, these guys are really hell bent on being annoying. Then shall I hear Just 6k, Vlad. Well, let's go murder him. What? It's time for us to murder him. What's Belly Guy doing over here? Honestly, I don't even know, matey. My only best guess was he, he confederated the dwarves around here and then just sort of went ham. Wait, he does, doesn't he? He'd have correct he'd he'd have confederated Karakurn. Ooh, so maybe the AI gets access to the same quest the human does, like we do. And Armin, yes, it was uh, turn 20. We need to buy anything to get the rework for the Empire. No, you don't, matey. The Alpha, you do not, my friend. That is free LC, and that's what I'm playing right now. Everything you see right now is patch 5.0, and it's free LC. It's nothing to do with um, the... DLCs, which is the thing, this, which is honestly the reason why I'm praising it so much, is because of how much free content is in the game right now. If I'm going to be 100%, wow, 4 million defense and attack is crazy high. That is crazy. Wait. I'm going to have like. These guys are going to have like 70 melee defense almost. You are tiresome. Yeah, the changeling hasn't done anything. I do not value. He can vibe out. I don't care. He's only stealing 84. Yeah, normally I think CA do it on purpose. Because otherwise the changeling would be miserable to fight. I think they do it on purpose. Congrats on TK on YouTube. Thank you so much, Pratt. I appreciate that. Much love to you, buddy. I really appreciate the kind words. Declare heresy. I declare heresy. Ooh, we've got a uh, new tech tree, boys. Or a new tech for this lad. Ooh, sniper attribute. That's interesting. What's the meta on Symbiotic Parasitic Cults? Is playing the Changeling. Um, you want to make sure you get the Parasitic one that spreads the cults because it's more. it has a higher percentage. Um, the TLDR is just... When a faction... Like, as a Changeling, you want to send over the hero that you get given... Over to Castle Drakenhof, because it'll make a lot of money. You want to yoink as much money from there as possible. So you want to be... It, it wants to be symbiotic. I'm not going to do a hop to the troops, though, Emma. Better in an army now? Great question. And I would probably argue... Yes. Due to the bonuses that it gives you now. Oh my god, he's going to steal the moot from me. My axe 
I was gonna say I was gonna I'm, I'm gonna fight Belligar, but I don't think I'd win. <laughs> oh, nice! I can actually attack this uh, with this guy, and then Franz can move over. No, not until Hexen starts. To war! I'm hoping an OnlyFans just to celebrate. By the comet, make haste, man. Hey, if you know what I mean. If there's a market for a bald fat guy on OnlyFans, I'll think about it. Although I have a feeling that probably isn't. I have a small Thanks, feeling Sigma. there probably isn't much of a market for that. <laughs> By the right. Yes, my lord. There must be, honestly, probably. There's a market for anything? Yeah, you never know. Right, so let, let's see. In one more level, we're going to get this guy to be much stronger, and then we'll see his stat line in comparison to Franz. Because it does appear that Generals of the Empire can get very, very, very strong. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that. I was very pleasantly surprised to see that. Did we just get another one of those? We did. Yo, Armor of Destiny is perfect. It's literally exactly what I wanted. This sets are really good for a generic lord. I completely agree. Golden Shield. 70% block chance, and that's the stat line. That's the gold. That's literally a gold shield. Yeah, it's a gold shield, Menti. That's gold shield. Like, it's better than friends. Like, stat line wise? A lot of it's better than friends. What makes the general strong? The rework in 4.0 has given them imperial training, so they get loads of bonuses of infantry, loads of stat line, survival instincts, missile block chance, uh, war hero, more HP and immune psychology, and then heroic killing blow as well. Um, and obviously their specific yellow tree gives them a lot of really good stuff. And they have imperial griffins now as well. So you're going to get enough armor, you're going to get just as much HP as friends. You're going to get just as much damage as Franz. And you're going to be basically a Franz as well. So. Which is going to be huge. Uh, let me now, jump out. Move. You get in, Franz. As you deserve it. Right by crown. Yeah, I'm actually really shocked at how good they are. I will marshal the bed. Level 16 once we get on this bad boy. Oh, it does reduce our shield, though. It takes our shield from gold to bronze. Should be fine, though. Which is a shame. Uh, let me go and investigate over this side of the Empire. Okay, Greebits is going to be doing annoying things. Thankfully, we managed to take that off them before they did. Free of Perez are OP. Yeah, they're really good. Shield the Monsters unit is, uh, is massive. Agreed. I do agree. Let me just check diplomacy. Lioness is like whatever. Midlands, whatever. We're going to beat a blood. We're going to have to. Did they say the same? As far as I'm aware, they kind of stayed the same, buddy. As far as I can tell, there wasn't a big change in them. Oh, yeah, somewhere in the forest. What, over here? How do I know where it is? Do I have to walk into the forests to get it? Yes. I don't know how it works. Problems is enough? Okay. of the Empire. Come. <laughs> and true, you do get some really good equipment in France. Mate, Belli's Belli guy's going to be fuming. I have way more movement than he does. 
Billigar is going to be fuming. As there's no way he can keep up with me. Bring me to my men. Yeah, I get 10% for all of my armies. We have loads of amplification and movement as well. He might throw hands against us. Hopefully he doesn't try and attack us. I mean, the funny thing is, I could be like... <laughs> I could be like this. Uh, excuse me, Belagar, get off my territory, thank you. In these dark times, we should stand together. I agree. Please don't attack me, honestly. If I was you, I would attack me, though. Honestly, if, if, they, uh, if the AI did, did this to me, what I'm doing to them, without a shadow of doubt, I'd attack them. Even if I was, like, destined to lose it, I would still do it. Honestly. That's probably because that's too much of the dwarf in me. You know what I mean? I'm just too stubborn. Clearly, that's just me being hella stubborn. Kick him out of the land? No, he'd kick my ass. Billy guy has no jokes, dude. Tell you that for free. Ooh, getting a strong one of these guys would help her so much. Let's get you into there, lad. Wow, Festus has bought a lot of it. Now, the good news is we can just disband you. Because paying for that is going to be too much. Castle Dragon off in two turns, but we'll probably be facing a off against quite a lot of units. This is sort of the beautiful thing about early game Empire. Ooh. Man. We might be able to go and take this. What's the worst that can happen, eh, boys? Decisive defeat? Really? I mean, there is bats, which are going to be really annoying. You need to have everything, I think. You need all 13 to summon the elect accounts. Is losing elect accounts scribbling what was before? It's not as bad, but it's still really it's not it's it's not really, really bad, but it's it's bad, right? It's not as punishing, thankfully. All the Empire dying in front of you is not as punishing. Which is I'm so happy. Because beforehand, I used to get minus Imperial Authority before I even had a chance to help them. But now it's a little bit better. And parrot all the all the empire stuff I've done so far. I haven't seen him choose. I haven't seen them choose to do that. It was in the blog post. Nice. And there you go. Adding to the layers of gameplay. Love to see that. Yo, Dame Nuri's. No, I love uh, Stardew Valley. My, me and my partner play Stardew Valley together. Stardew Valley is an absolute goated game. Absolutely love that game. I was always, the, I was always in charge of going into the mines, and she was always in charge of looking after the farm. That's how we split the responsibilities. But you're more than welcome. Hope you're doing well, Dame. It's good to see you. Ooh, we're shooting from... Oh my god, it's Pistoliers. I'm an idiot. I thought these were the grenade launchers. Okay, that's not good, boys. I thought these were the grenade launchers. Uh-oh. No wonder it thought it was a decisive defeat. <laughs> no wonder it thought it was a decisive... I was, I was hella confused why we had a circle around me. I was like, when did the grenade launchers do that? Hmm... That doesn't seem like uh, like it's a normal thing. Making me pee. Mr. J, I can't talk about DLC stuff. Apologies. The boyfriend always goes to the mines. I mean, the children yearn for the mines. You know what I mean? She just doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't like going into the mine. That was the problem. I sort of was forced into it. I love fishing in Saudi Valley. Hella, hella therapeutic. 
Right, we're probably in uh, in a lot of trouble here, guys. We'll find out. And as long as they don't take attack the spearmen, we might be okay. Yeah, this is. Let's hope these guys are gonna be all right. Let's hope these guys are gonna be okay. I'm just gonna drag them away. Oh, that's the grave guards, isn't it? Oh, it's not. Wait, do they have grave guards? Ooh, they do. Wait, why do they have a grave guard? But them not being that's not the leader. Oosh. Nice. We just need to set it up so we can kill the uh Wait, are you not crumbling? Yeah, you are good. Alright, you run around. What's this? Replenishes ammunition if below 80%. Are we replenishing ammunition? Oh, use is zero. Okay. So clearly we have done that. Okay, that's the spears. I'm just gonna let my guys chill out for a sec. I need to figure out how how best to deal with the situation. I mean, it might be really cringe if I just do this all all, all battle, but it might be what I have to do. <laughs> I just might have to. I don't know how good these guys will cycle charge. Is the problem? In fairness. A couple of shots into there will help a lot. This reduce... No, it doesn't reduce leadership, annoyingly. I'm going to need to get these guys to cycle charge in a bit. But for some reason, the AI is really, really dedicated to killing these pistols. Which I'm more than happy for them to do so. Alright, cycle charge is there. Pull out there. Run through it because they're trying to chase me. Run that way. Okay, that's the grave guards. So what I need to do is set up in a situation where I can shoot the grave guards from behind. Okay, let's pick these guys off them. And then cycle around again. Oh my god, they got stuck. I hate it when cavalry does that. Holy moly. It's so wild how, like, what's their, what's your mass? 500 mass. And you're struggling that much. Alright, you know what, I'll just send them in now. It's just, it sucks that the last two ammunition, we don't have a lot of, uh, we've got a lot of them dead. There, there, you can kind of tell. You can tell because they're moving a lot slower than the rest of them. Mm -mm. Oh, they really don't want me to rest at all here. Good shots. Sorry about this, guys. I'm just trying to focus. Girls, you're not stuck. I loved that, honestly. Obviously, I understood it was too broken for multiplayer, but I goddamn loved it in single player. Fey Enchantress campaign was so good because you got them straight away. I can't let these guys run out. Team in dire status. No, 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 we're fine. I'm just doing this on purpose. I'm taking a settlement with just this army. Uh, honestly, I'm just taking this out, taking this out, uh, taking a settlement with just this army because I can. Because I can. Now I'm pretty sure this guy is strong enough to kill them all. Like his stat line's insane. And there's no spearman either. Alright. So how are you guys doing, eh? How are you guys doing? This will be fine now. It'll be doing, doing itself. Oh, there you go. Nice. I knew I could do it. Doing well. Happy to hear that. 
I was, I was about to like start chillaxing. You know what I mean? I was just about to take a uh, relaxing. What, what do you mean I won? Of course I won. You like my recent videos? Thank you, Jacob. I appreciate it, buddy. <clears throat> Glad you're enjoying them. I did indeed. Uh, thank you so much, Musha. Had my first barbecue, 28 days matured burgers. Uh, Scashman, did you make enough for everybody? Did you make enough for everybody? Any of you, do any of you guys want a, want a burger? Any of you guys want a burger? Scashman's offering. Apparently it's a 28 day matured burger, so it probably is going to be nice. There's some sausages left. Okay, that's fair enough. I don't know how many people are watching, but next time, come on. Make a couple hundred burgers more. Right. Occupy. The thing that I didn't check is if there's... Yeah, there isn't any uh, military presence. It's in this province, right? Yeah. It's in here. So they're, they're, they're not going to be close enough to take this. Wow, interesting spin a tit. Um, we don't have enough, enough of them. My axe for war. They're made to orders. <laughs> to the provinces. Alright. So the what did I actually back. think I was going to recruit? Yeah, I was thinking I was recruiting these, didn't I? I put the pistolers in here thinking that they were the grenade launchers. They were, in fact, were not the grenade launchers. They, in fact, were not the grenade launchers. Bring me to my men. So. Uh, Council Temple of is actually going to be hard to siege. Needling might be okay, but we're going to be moving towards uh, Festus if we do that. Ooh. God, I love Wolfric's model. He's such a unit. Wait, who's even fighting? Oh, he's fighting. Oh, my God. Toddy is not in a good situation right now. If I could if I could build another army and I could afford it, I would. I can't afford another one. Maybe sacking Castle Drakenoff will do it. Honestly, probably the best bet. Block his army. Failure, but we learn through failure. That's okay. Legend Confederate Elsworth, so is the the embargo is that the embargo technically? I imagine I can confederate her, but I'd have to, I'd have to disband her. Uh, but I don't want to run the risk, matey. But good question. The grenades were tiny, non-explosive, and launched way faster than expected. Pretty much. Pretty much, honestly. Oh, she! I can see her on the map. She looks so insane. Use my cat's ten drive. Salt and pepper ribs. Nice, Jay. Sounds delish. She looks like an absolute unit, dude. She looks like a unit. Uh, Wait, where did Belligar go? If he's running over here, trying to steal my thunder, I'm going to be so mad. Right, Vlad, what you're working with, bud? You've probably recruited some good units here because you've got a tier 4 castle dragon off. Not having this guy is going to suck a little bit. Not lie. To war! Right, for your guys' sanity, I'm not going to make you do make you watch that again. Let me just put some units in there for the auto resolve. How's Cal Frale? Uh, feeling really strong, honestly. Really strong. He's feeling pretty good, pretty damn good. So let's have a look at this guy now. Look at that stat line. That you can't tell me that's not like a Franz. You basically can have mini Cal Franzes. This is insane. The, Empire, the generals of the Empire become mini Franzes. This is great. So. But he has better stat lines than him, apart from charge. Wait, hold on. To the provinces. 
I'm doing screenshots. If you hear Windows noise, this is me. Look at this. So this is the General of the Empire. He has just as much armor, but he has um, a shield. Speed is the same. The General of the Empire has more, uh, more melee attack. He has more melee defense. He has higher weapon strength. And he has um, less charge bonus though. I think the items in question don't really change the... Yeah, it's, it wouldn't change these stat lines too much. Yeah, it'd only be the armor that it would change and a little bit of melee defense. Crazy. I will marshal the men. No, Cal does not have all his legendary items. I definitely yes. should do, honestly. I definitely should get him him. Do you know what? I'll do them now. The Empire. I'll get him his silver seal at least. Those stats, though, pretty crazy, right? Pretty crazy. It's really big, yeah. It's like 20% ward save, right? Yeah, the generals are still significantly stronger. People forgetting their last patch gave them mid-700 damage after levels. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, comparing and contrasting between, you know, the Empire and Cafe is not really that fair. I think, typically speaking, uh, Empire has significantly better um, elements of ranged than Cafe does, but Cafe is always typically better with their the lords. Like, Zhao Ming and uh, Miao Ying are always going to be far better than, you know, anything that uh, the Empire can have. Like, the lords are just completely different. Empire General is as good as Cathy, which I disagree with. I think they have their own um, uses, right? They have their own uses, and they have their own ability to be good in, in certain situations. But I think, typically speaking, comparing and contrasting, the Empire needed what they can... The Empire needed what the uh, Empire Generals are doing now. Whereas they didn't have any options of that beforehand. Like, you can... The, you can, the Empire can use strong single entities near enough better than the cafe cam like when i used to do a lot of head-to-heads right I've, I've done tons of head-to-heads right and um the only elements of cafe that are like pretty solid is the fact that zhao ming makes jade warriors insane and miao ying makes obviously ranged units just incredibly difficult to deal with but generally speaking melee stacks will be better anyway especially if you've got people controlling them right Uh, shit, honestly, I can probably just run at them. I wish we had a, a life mage. Life mages would have made this a lot easier. But what I'll do is I'll go run over and bait the, the wizards to come over. Oh, of course, you get flanked from all sides now, don't you? Nice. Slow stat creep is crazy. Non legendary vamps seem kind of weak. No, vampires are still pretty damn strong. I'm not gonna lie. Like, the stat line of uh, most vampire lords is like 70 50, isn't it? I think it's kind of bonkers. It's just the main thing, obviously, they crumble. Wow, they've stopped them from just running in. That's good to see, at least. But definitely, the vampires need a lot of love. Tell you that for free. It's just the, the issue that the vampires have is just, just because of their faction. Like, the vampires in general are always either really too OP or they're, like, really, really weak just because of multiplier and the balancing around it. Especially because of, like, domination really, really assists factions that are, like, blobbing. Like vampires. We'll see them. Every game actually gave Sigmism for Jade Warriors. That's not OP. Oh, yeah, 100%. That's what I'm saying. Jade Warriors are insane. Like, early game Jade Warriors are incredible. It's to the. It's like, Cathay are akin to dwarves in a lot of ways, right? Cathay play like Dowie in a lot of ways, which I I I I'm a big fan of um, Cathay. Oh my God, the mortars are trolling. Oops. 
Did I see it? Yeah, uh, Sarek, you, you sat next to her as, uh, as friends. You start next to her. She's null lynching. Jade, War uh, Jade Warriors are like Dwarf Warriors, yeah. Although you can get, um... Should be fine. You can get access into... What the hell is that spell? What just absolutely crushed me? I think it might have been... No, it wasn't an ammunition shot from there. It might have been another mortar shot, potentially. If I had the silver bullets, these hex rays would have died instantly. I don't mind countercharging them, honestly. Franz has magical attacks, so he'll be absolutely fine killing her. Um, I remember when if you if you used to just kill this general in Warhammer 2, their entire army would crumble. Good times. <laughs> it was so silly. It was so silly. Okay. Actually. This is where the great launchers, launchers are really going to demonstrate their worth, honestly. Yep. Crazy. Mm-hmm. How the new Empire Cavalry will do? I can't talk about him. But so am I. Right, pull you guys back. We should be able to sneak in a little bit here. Uh, I was surprised at the attacks. Attack! Yeah, it's one of those weird things where I'm not allowed to talk any about anything about the uh, new DLC stuff because of the embargo. But obviously, I've, I have access to them. Oops, I was not paying attention over here. I'm gonna should be fine though. If he does renounce his oath, where's got trick? He didn't spawn annoyingly. He did not spawn, which is big sad. Right, this should be fine. We'll, we'll probably take the majority of the replenishment here. Spill the beans on the DLC, at least a little bit. At least answer this. Is the DLC at least one of the DLCs? Is this DLC at least one of the DLCs you've ever played? What kind of mind games is that? in India have both dropped under bad videos. I know, it's just the way the, uh, it's the way the embargo is. Like, I'm allowed to fight against DLC units, but I'm not allowed to um, use them myself. But technically, in a multiplayer battle, you can set somebody up to use all the new units, but as long as you don't record that footage and upload it, you know, of, of you using them. Mm -mm. Are there any changes in Friends campaign? A lot, Ghastly. Tons and tons of them, tons of them. There has been a lot of changes. Uh, I can go through them a bit briefly in a bit. I'm probably going to be making a video uh, soon-ish. Any cap maybe how Game 3 is going to suck, generally? No, all the Bretonian cavalry is great. All the Bretonian cavalry is fantastic. I think that's kind of what makes them still a, you know, a relevant faction. Oh, nice. Basically full HP'd my army there. Yes, to unite the provinces. What do we need? I think... Does this count as great swords? It does, wow. Nice. Wait, did it? Is spearmen not included there? Melee defense plus five for spears, swordmen for things. Wait, it's it's rank seven or above, right? Why are these rank seven guys only have one more melee defense? Huh. 
It appears Summon that skill's not working. Counts. Yeah, they are there. I mean, this will this will be the time determining factor of the physical resistance. Ha, huh, they do. But wait, all of them do. Oh, it's a, it's bugged. It's applying um, it's applying to non level se sevens. I think that's the only logical explanation. Yeah, it's applying to non level sevens right now. <laughs> In the name of Magnus. That'll do it. Oh, a Hellstorm rocket battery could be a good idea. In fact, we probably don't need it with Franz being a high enough level now. Although Franz has taken a lot of damage. Now. Should be okay. Yes. Uh, Guardian doesn't stack, so there's no point taking Guardian yet. If his uh, AP was fine. I, am Prince and I mean, it would probably guarantee the fight here. It just depends what Vlad has. To report that, I will. Don't worry, lad. So, I will. I, I take a note point of... I, I have a notepad of pretty much everything that I'm seeing. Yeah. By the comet. Mm. You'd be fine controlling most of these stuff. Death awaits. For the arena and known. I'm gonna be very intrigued to see how well it does. Who calls? What have you to say? That's unfortunate. I'll probably spec him to be blue treed. Uh to ambush. Is it the corruption that's doing is in here? No, it's the Imperial Authority that's doing is in a bit. It's not my fault the uh, the Empire gets absolutely slapped around. I mean, Belagar Loki being a bit of a homie, at least. To battle. Had some amazing stuff. It had a Kislevite Warriors. In fairness, Kislevite Warriors did change a lot for Kislev. Uh, Godric and Felix get some kind of bonus for being in the same army. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it's just the same synergy that they used to have. Where they could heal each other. Uh, within the free LC stuff specifically for the dwarves, they're very strong, yeah. They're very, very strong. You are not welcome in my... Wow, that is brave. <laughs> Bloody hell. Declare war on Althoff, instantly try and attack it. Okay, bud. Ooh, we've just seen an interesting situation uh, occur here. Oh, I wonder if... Yeah, humans will be Norska. But we're going to go against Vlad in a second, isn't it? You're joking. Isabel just bloody assassinated Felix. All right. Time for the uh, for welcome to Estalia to uh, to start start occurring. Welcome to Estalia incoming. Defense that army's not too good. We should be fine defending it as long as we put a lot in there. All right, let's deal with Vlad. Honestly, attacking Vlad himself is probably better. Hmm, is this worth sh trying to siege the settlement? Probably not, honestly. An open battlefield would help a lot. Not having Felix makes this a lot harder, man. Is there any other cavalry, any other th options I would have? I can replenish the grenade launchers, but I don't really need them. The cannons could help, but that would only be for the purpose of destroying walls. Um, through a lord and out of and declare war, you could potentially write up for out. He's a force march. That is a good point. 
Although, is he in the zone of control of it? I don't think he's in the zone of control. I don't know where the hitbox starts. You'd assume he is in this in the hitbox here. Mighty chieftains want pillaging and plunder. Rank seven, and he's off to Talabek land. I mean, in fairness, it's going to happen at some point. It was going to happen at some point. So if I have to, I will. To war. God, Elf uh, Elspeth looks like such a unit. She was such a good mod. Like, sh and most of you guys have ever played Elspeth, the mod. Like in Mixus, so good. Alright, might as well try it. What's my public order? It's actually kind of bad. This guy will do for now, then. Because the annoying thing is, right? What will happen is, it'll ask me to declare war on him, even if Ludwig can't reach. He can reach, good. Good. Coolest faction in the game, no deal, seal, just what? What, if you have all three games? Uh, the dwarves, but I'm biased. So, I've been playing dwarves as Warhammer 1. So I'm exceptionally biased. Tools of judgment ready. You are judged. Easiest assassinate my life. They will be judged. Gotta wish it into the world, boys. Just gotta wish it in the world. You just gotta wish it into the world. I know I am, but you need to remind me. Jesus. <laughs> this guy just called me a degenerate. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, you can do it with a hero. Okay. I didn't know I could run around with a hero. The Empire. Uh, come up with uh, Norska. Oh, it's about Norska. Uh, I think I don't think Norsk has played that much, honestly. I really don't think Norsk has played all too much in the grand scheme of things by people. From experience. Attack. Right, I'll let I'll let us be attacked on that side. I'm fine with that. Yes, Grant. Uh, let's get siege towers. No peace, just war. Uh, this guy honestly could go over here because this the garrison sizes are really to small. Like, most of you guys, some of you guys won't know this or remember this, but I, how I as a streamer started becoming a little bit more popular was when I did a challenge in Warhammer 2 where I played on Legendary very hard. And, um, oh, I'm going to have to respect this guy, otherwise he's going to get killed by this army. Yeah, I'm going to respect him and deploy him elsewhere now. Otherwise he's going to get killed. I don't want to lose him. Um, yeah, I did a no-loss uh, Norska challenge on Legendary in Warhammer 2, and it took me about 100 hours. I'm not even joking. It took me about 100 hours. It was one of the hardest challenges I've ever done, but it was really good fun. I enjoyed it a lot. It taught me an awful lot about Wolfric. Uh, is it sort of fun now? Uh, Throg is good fun. I actually quite like Throg. If you want to play uh, the um, uh, excuse me, if you want to play Norska, I'd highly recommend playing Throg. I'd highly recommend playing Throg because the troll stacks is insane. But no, once again, guys, I do I do appreciate all the love. Um, it's crazy to me that I'm 10 10 k subs on YouTube now. Pretty poggies. Crazy. Yo, and uh, thank you for the follow, buddy. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the love and whatnot, guys. You guys are the best. Bloody hell, I've been going for five hours already. It's the beard man. Who, me or Wolfric? Yeah, that's the trash army.
Damn it, he's got flying units. If he didn't have flying units, I could absolutely crush him here. Can I walk through here? Damn it, I've got to go around. With care of the Chaos Wolves DLC. Where's the info and then? For grudges? Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I was trying my best to make videos really clear and concise as well. But I, as a creator, am still learning, my friends. Every day is a school day, you know? I think I'm going to just sit over here and prepare myself for the onslaughts of, uh, of undead that will be coming my way. Uh, there's no point in me trying to set up for the dudes. Mm. Maybe over in the open here. Ah, I hate corner camping, but it's probably going to be a good strategy here, honestly. I don't want to corner camp, but I just want to make sure a thingy. Is on Twitch? No, sorry, don't be daft. So Twitch is where I first started streaming. Twitch, it was back in the day. I absolutely... Yeah. Twitch is where I do all my fun stuff as well. All the community stuff. All the fun community stuff. Corner camps every fella is indecisive. I do not... In the last one, I didn't corner camp. When I beat Vlad with four armies, I didn't. I mean, strategically, it just makes sense. Because right now, they're going to be stacking all over there. So instead of just putting myself in the middle where I can get surrounded... It sort of just makes sense to sit over here. Mm -hmm. You're better at this game than I'll ever be. Fair enough, thank you. Alright. I, I need a really nice clear line of sight. You know True Dwarf Lover, you don't like corner camp? True. It's sort of the patent pended uh, strategy of the dwarves. The Dowie box is real. The beautiful Dowie box is real. I think... Oh, interesting enough. Vlad might not have been... Wait, has Vlad not come into the battle? Oh, we'll go find out. If we had a life mage, we could do a lot more aggressive stuff with uh, with Karl Franz specifically, but we got to be a wee bit careful. We'll have a rough positioning because we'll have a long time until we can do it. If I can see Vargeist, yeah, Vlad's in the fight then if I see the Vargeists. Vlad is in the fight, if I know there's there. Yes. At speed. Let's see if I can bait any of them out. I do have 90 speed. And we have uh, Foe Seeker, so we can probably avoid most of them. Fire guys, as far as more, aren't that fast. So, happy to lure one of these guys over. Happy to lure them over. Or forget about uh, Cal Franz completely. That also works too, I guess. Oh my goodness. I am getting tired. <laughs> Your boy is getting the sleepies. There we go. Man, there's nothing more disappointing than killing Vlad's entire... Like, I remember doing my very first Ultimate Crisis, and I purposely tried to kill Manfred as soon as possible, because I was like, oh, surely the, the Ultimate Crisis is not going to spawn when he's dead. How wrong was I? Oh, how wrong I was. He ended up absolutely crushing me. <laughs> I, I think he spawned, like, ten armies on top of my one army, and I was like, well, I'm dead. Not going to be able to do much there. Alright, let's see what else is coming over. Let's get friends to bait again. Makes sense the vampire's not stated. No, I do agree. I definitely do agree. I was just sort of naive, I suppose. I just made an assumption, which is not a good thing to do. Can't get Isabel's defeat trait anymore. 
I mean, it's one of those things where Isabel's defeat trait, I think, probably was a mistake from a game a game design perspective by CA. It's just too good. Regeneration as a stat is just too strong. And so I think they probably made a mistake making that a thing. Because you, you got to remember that, like, I was guilty in that I would purposely trap Isabel to try and farm her trait. Like, I would legitimately try in my best to farm her trait on all of my characters. Which is not a good thing, right? I, I don't think that's the best of game design when you're just like keeping a faction alive specifically to kill one person. <laughs> you know? Like, I focus so hard on just keeping her alive. Just because of the, uh, the traits, you know? On a Saturday, hats off to you. Most off to you, matey. I'm just trying to make up for the fact that I have not been able to stream as much as I usually... Uh, obviously, I'm full-time now, so I can't stream as much as I used to. Oh my god, we absolutely just smoked those Black Knights. Nice. Straight's gonna be farmed. Oh yeah, 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 the new DLC. Plus three hero capacity, agreed. It's gonna be insane for um Hero Doomstacks. It's gonna be insane. Hero Doomstacks will be delighted. Like a, a dwarven thane doomstack would be would go so hard, honestly. It actually would go so hard. Wait, I'm being shot at by civilian crossbowmen. Surprise! I need to close the gap here. Right, be wary. Be, get ready for another thousand kill on these boys. Interesting that the uh, the Vlad is deciding to go over here. Oh, my clicking is so bad right now. Well, I've kind of ran, ran into a lot of my other really important units here. Oopsie. Whoopsie daisy. Just strolling through, don't mind me. Oh, there's a little sneaky, do the sneaky uh, doggers, excuse me. Absolutely sneaky buggers, eh? Uh, I don't think friends should be doing anything else but apart from protecting my really strong units. Let's move up. Pull you guys back. Oh, my mortars are gonzo. Well, 07s for those boys. 07s for those boys. Sometimes it do be like that. Fennis, I can recruit um, Hellstorm rocket batteries if I'm not mistaken. So I should probably just recruit Hellstorm rocket batteries, honestly. Yeah, I'm a bit worried that we don't really have a good handle on this. My inventory is just too stacked. My, like, it's too spread up. My inventory is way too spread right now. This is not good. And we're not getting opportunities to do damage to the things I need to kill. Yeah, we'll be fine, though. Ooh, the civilian crossbowmen are doing a really good job of being annoying here. Oh, he's casting up my Amber Wizard. Interesting. I'm not going to lose, I don't think. But generally speaking, I... Uh, I do... Yeah, I won't, don't worry. I don't, think I, I don't think I will lose, though. There's not a lot of threats that are still remaining on the battlefield. 
And the threats that do remain, I have answers for. Thankfully. Just gotta make sure that I'm attacking the right things with the right units. Because I've used this point of elevation on purpose because I know it's a fact that I can shoot over. I'm just going to ignore Vlad. He's attacking swordsmen, so I don't really care about that. He's attacking units that I'm not really that bothered about, which is fine. There's no point in me trying to kill Vlad, honestly. I don't have the, the, the capabilities of doing it right now. So I'd rather focus on murdering his inventory. I'll have a lot more success trying to kill his inventory and kill his lords. Because keep in mind, Vlad actually doesn't have a crazy amount of balance of power just himself. Like, you'd be surprised how little his balance of power values, values are with just himself. So I'm going to ignore him and just try my best to kill all of his inventory. And especially with volleys like that, we should be A-OK. -okay. Because they're going to be coming in drip and drabs on each side. And you can see that I've just got a lot of ammunition remaining. And none of the necromancers can defend themselves without Vard protecting them. Now nah, you can see that he might be moving over. Shake my balls! Okay. Amber spears aren't going to be too useful. I'm going to shift draw over there so they take the right path. As we're going to need to deal with those over that side. That general will be dealt with as well. Just need to kill this next necromancer. Okay, it's another necromancer. So once again, Cal Franz, the killer of the necromancers. The murderer of necromancy. That's what he's patterned now. Although he has moments where he's a bit derpy. Okay, here's the garrison coming out. Yeah, next uh, dude is in the process. Next necromancer is lining up to be murdered. It's very kind of them, honestly. It's very nice of them. Right, Franzi, next necromancer, please. Thank you. Oops, should have been shooting the uh, graveyard over here instead. Mm -mm. Grenade launchers are go uh, dis disgustingly good. Agreed. These guys are crazy. Uh, let me get my ranged weaponry on this left flank here. I'm going to make sure they're positioned and poised for it correctly. How are Black Knights faster than me here? That's quite surprising. And thanks for the follow mating. I'm surprised that they're faster than me though. Uh, I really need to stop messing around with my inventory. Let's just spread out my inventory a little bit more. Ah, oh, I'm a noob. I'm a noob. I'm a noob. I'm going to lose the Outriders. I'm fine with it. Pull them out to the side. This one guy will clear the rest of them out, I'm pretty sure. Beautiful. Sterling's revenge! Attack! Get to distract him, landed again. Jesus, it's so insane the damage, man. Spearman. I think that's is that Amlos bonus? No, not yet. Go! We serve the Emperor! Take nice, good damage. Moving now! I don't want friends attacking Vlad because he'll lose. I'll just use low tier inventory to tank him for now. It's the biggest weakness of Vlad of Von Karsan, honestly. He sucks at killing inventory. It's true. He is unbelievably garbage at killing inventory. That's one of his biggest weaknesses. He is so bad at killing inventory. Thankfully for me. Once you get shot in there. 
So any trash units can be can keep him busy for a long time. Uh, I think just to the left is the only units that are remaining now. Uh, we've got our handgunners in a perfect situation, or perfect position to defend. And yeah, no risk was. Yeah, I always multicast these days. I always multicast. And thanks to the Prime Bird. Appreciate it. It's very kind of you, Mighty. Yes, my lord. Running. Get your butt in there. I'm lost bonus needs to be should be clo should in theory be close. It should in theory be close. We shall see. Let's go send more crap on Vlad. Ah, grave guards and stuff, that's why. A double grave guard situation. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Uh, do I mean multicast? Oh, I stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time is what I meant by multicast, sorry. That's what I meant. Yo, Landela. Yo, Landela, you got one of my top comments on one of my videos recently. Appreciate you. Thank you for commenting. I almost made a grave mistake, yeah. I'm surprised why that was heroic and the other one wasn't. Uh, when we beat him for the first time. I'm not sure. I wouldn't know the answer. Leslie Dallas Multicast. I have no idea what that means. Isn't heroic victory when the AI thinks you should have had a, ta had a time? Yeah, normally with decisive defeats, right? You can take no casualties and get Pyrrhic. It's, it depends on the balance of power you consume in the battle. Uh, that whether that might be units dying, that might be ammunition, so like artillery shooting a lot. Um, you know, depends. Yeah, they did indeed. One thousand, a hundred thousand damage dealt. It sucks. Prestige is capped at one k. It really does. A hundred thousand damage dealt on a unit is not bad, eh, boys? It's, more, it's triple my mage. Gonna occupy a castle dragon off, eh? I'll take that. Wow, work bad. That sucks. And they raised it, jerks. I will hear what you have. Greetings from C. 100k, yep. Oh, why I succeeded is not ideal. We're lucky Isabel's no longer in an army. Unlucky she's not running around her own. We found it! Use the character to search Nemesis Crown above the. Wait. Stop that! Tools of judgment ready. Where do we where do we get the crown now? Sigmar's will. And yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> We'd have gotten a lot of prestige from all four of those battles. Summon the elector counts. I am Prince and Oh, I'll take a tier three. I command here. What, is it next to Karenberg? I don't, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to look for. It's my first time seeing the crown. Is it Karenberg? Is it? Oh, after the internal of the pop-up. Okay. Thank you. 
Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> you already know I'm gonna take it, son. I'm finna about to murder some folks, you know what I mean? We finna about to murder up in here. Uh, what I can actually do... Oh, it's already really low. I was going to say I was going to reduce the... Uh, uh, the... Corruption, but I didn't need to. They don't really want to confederate you. Toddy's dead. Right, I could confederate her if I wanted to. But annoyingly, I'm not allowed to. In the name of Magnus. I want to have a look what she's got, but I'm not allowed to. What? As I haven't played a DLC campaign yet. Um. So. Nice. Thankfully, this guy's now got what he needs. To it, we won't tell. No, I'm not going to do that. That'd be very naughty. Nice. Billy goes to join the war against Festus. Probably because he's he. I, I I would have a hard time believing he would. I can ask him. It's good choice. It's good. It's good. Um. Good shout. Do it then disbander. I don't know what I'm going to get. Been on low authority for a long time. I haven't done things to help the Empire, so I think that's why. Well, I'm in the process of doing that now, right? Wow, Vlad has legit zero army. Okay, Festus is right there. Trade agreement. Yeah, go on then. Has she take, taken that settlement? No, she hasn't. Wow. Bring me to my men. Bring me to my men. Alright. Oh, so when you take Empire settlements, you get Imperial Authority back. Okay. So the new mechanism over here, as you can see... We can either do local recruitment capacity, recruitment cost reduction, reduction of corruption. We can replenish the pool of the elector states, get, uh, give it a lord some experience, instantly recruit one turn of recruitment, safely declare war on somebody that is a elector count, get one population surplus, send obviously um, aid, and then confederate a field to target 10. So if I wanted to click her, I could confederate her right now, but I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. yeah she's got all the uh the wonderful dlc units it seems i am prince and emperor the send aid is really good i agree the crown was not there wait so is it telling me so i have to search somewhere else Ooh, I'm for Near a western settlement. What, so up here, you think? The Maybe even towards the trees, the forest. March on the witches. Forward! Pick up the pace! Huh. What was the hint they gave? They just gave me a hint that it's near the black pit. Not allowed to confederate, can you fight it? Yeah, you can fight her. You are allowed to fight her, I. Ooh, Emperor of Emperor. I'm intrigued to see how good these are. Thanks, no, no worries, dude. I command here. Summon the Elector Counts. Summon the Elector Counts, indeed. 
The summoning of Electra Counts is upon us. Well, Felix is back now. We'll, we'll send him back home. Right, let's make an army in uh, Altdorf here. Uh, we'll probably use this guy. This will foster the nation. To the provinces. Can I get level recruit ranks in here? I can't, can I? Alright, I'll just do this for now. And then what army are we going to make, boys? What kind of army is a good, diverse army that can deal with a lot of things? Hmm. That'd probably do it. That'd probably do it. That'd probably deal with a lot of uh, a lot of armies. Too few hell stops. <laughs> Let's get those pumping out, boys. Let's get those bad boys pumping out. I think the mentor trait. Do you, do you take it? Mentor trait's not too bad. It's my late game army comp. Uh, this. Just nothing but hellstorms. No. I'm trolling. Uh, normally, I'm late game comps for the Empire can look at... It, for uh, for um, friends specifically, you can do kind of stacks of rank scab. That would work just fine. Uh, but normally you'd want to go with a bit of a hybrid of steam tanks as your frontline, a life mage as your healer for those single entities, uh, a couple of hellstorm rocket batteries, um, some demogriff knights for some cavalry related things, handgunners in there, you want halberdiers for the, you know, either halberdiers or you want steam tanks as your frontline, uh, but obviously you want artillery, backline, uh, cavalry for flanking, life mage, and then a fire mage probably. Um... Yeah, that'll do it. So anything's it, normally single entities is is what your late game armies become, honestly. The empire is very different in that. Oh shoot, I'm gonna get rebellion here. Okay, we can delay the rebellion for one turn. Nice. Great cannons ever useful? Nah, I mean the steam tanks themselves probably will do just as much. I've never been a big fan. Why do you take big uh, cannons for big threats? Normally the cannons aren't really worth it because if a, uh, a handgunner will do just as much work and then some than a cannon will. Plus they're a lot harder to get you, uh, value out of. That's sort of my problem with them. Seems time to reduce range now. That, that is true actually. So yeah, you'd probably you would need something like a cannon then. No, the, you, I, I, honestly, I'd rather have the Luminarchs, honestly. Alright, were these degrees upgraded? Wait, confederate target empire faction? Wait, you don't even need fealty with them. You can just confederate them. Be nice if there's an empire... If, 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 ooh, this works on these guys now. I can now confederate Marienburg with this upgrade. Interesting. Oh, wow. Grant two population surplus. Jesus. I can confederate the Hunt Marshal. I'd have to see him, though. Yo, Benji. Good to see you. I'd have to know where he li I have to I'd have to know where he is, though. But I guess we could. Is there any way I can declare war on folks and then declare war on another folk? To get closer to them. I am Shout it. I'd have to use a mod to uh, to find where he is, or to see him. Hey, gentlemen. It's, uh, so far, so good, my friend. Alright, thank Christ we've uh, we've dealt with the Vlad threat. Oh, I, I swear we've been fighting Flight for like God knows how long. Ready. Oh, it feels good. That feels good to finally take him down. 
Beautiful. Uh, still have more range than the Dowie cannons? I honestly don't think so. 450? Oh, they will then. 450 versus 440. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all, boys. Right. I am France. They will obey. Right, what should... What do you guys want to see? What else would you guys want to see, you wholesome hunks? What do you guys think? What else would be interesting to watch? Have you guys thought about other other specific campaigns that you'd be interested to see? As we've done friends, but we haven't done Nurgle. We actually haven't done Nurgle. Would you guys be interested in Nurgle? Hot tub streams. Okay, not quite not quite facilitating that one. Imric. I don't think Imric would have changed. Oh, I was meaning bread more, more so with the, the, the changes. The 3 LC stuff. Sword of the Crown plus uh, the Sword of Cain. Hmm. Maybe I'll do... Um... Ooh, right. What I'll say. Would you guys rather see another dwarf campaign or carry on a dwarf campaign or Nurgle? Not right now. I'm still carrying on. But just in general, I'm curious what you guys think. I want to get the crown. I really want to go get the crown. I'm going to try and find where this crown is. So if you don't like Nurgle, Dwarf, Dwarf, Karen, Ungrim. I was really enjoying the Ungrim campaign. I was really enjoying the Ungrim campaign. We, uh, we did that one as well. I had to play it on. Yeah, I played on the, uh, the Ungrim campaign. Uh, but I then, before I did the video, I saved the stream, so. The stream one should be fine. Yes. Right, so how the hell can I find where this crown is? Sigma preserve us. Poetry in motion. What? Yeah, it does seem that the uh, the, the tech is bugged. <laughs> I probably shouldn't recruit this army, should I? Let me recruit an actual normal army. Otherwise, I'm I'm gonna forget that I'm doing this. I'll 100% forget I'm doing this, and all of a sudden I'll have an army of Hellstorm rocket batteries, and I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? Wow, only two recruit, uh, only two uh, things to recruit. It's kind of wild. Is there a? So it's a stables that apparently give me additional recru recruitment capacity. Okay, let's go ahead and do this, this, this. Then let's get these bad boys upgraded. Should the armor give more recruitment capacity as well? I think it's only one building. Yeah, only the stables, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I think it's a, it's it's akin to most factions as well. One of the buildings is is the only thing that gives you it. Oh, we can get steam tanks as a front line. That'd be nice. To the provinces. Destroy the growth building. In fairness, true is actually. Although the 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 growth would be useful. We don't really necessarily need it right now. Armory's gone. Yeah, no, you don't have Armory anymore. Because you got to keep in mind, uh, the reason Armory doesn't exist anymore is because beforehand you had to build it to then recruit other units, right? Great Swords don't need you to build the Armory anymore. And like, nor does the Outriders and stuff like that. It's just like, it's a really solid quality of life change. Just a really, really, really solid quality of life change. Let's not tax it anymore. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't move the sky. I'm s That's annoying. Yes. Damn it, I should have checked my heroes. Check yourself before you wreck yourself, boys. I'm going to send you up north and then you up that way. I want to find where this crown is. Need ways to, uh, to increase recruitment capacity through buildings? Yeah. Oh, is there a commandment? Scottish, that's a good idea. That's a very good point. Let's check. A random fact on anything. It is Truly anything? To see our allies of the mountains. Oh, that's good. It's good to see Belly Guy doesn't hate me anymore. 
This is actually a really weird one. But, uh, bananas have... Uh, bananas are radioactive because they contain potassium and potassium decays. And so, yeah, potassium is a necessary substance for healthy operations in your body, though. But you'd have to eat a lot of them to compete with the natural pot uh, potassium dose on your body. That's a hella weird fact. Tell you what, that is a weird fact. That is an interesting factoid. I guess it makes sense. Bum, 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 bum. It sucks so much. I'm struggling so much to, to, to stop the... Uh, stop them just taking over everything. Oh, if I had enough movement to just kill this army outright, that'd be nice. Will. Take out the rebellion. Honestly, we'll probably heal more than... Uh, yeah, we wow, we healed a lot from that. Ready. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. Mm -hmm. The Empire. Right, let's move over this side. The story continues. To war. Where next? When will it tell me that I'm close to the crown? My order agrees. For Sigma! Help them out! Hey, Corrigan, good to see you, buddy. Go to the. It's in the Wait! It's around here! I thought, I thought you said it wasn't around there. Oh my god, Greebits, you little jerkwad! Seeding me like that. Is there a command me for recruitment? I think there is. Oh, there is. Nice. Yes. The Empire. They have other territory. So it's not in Midland. So you're saying it's either here or here. See, it's it's in this area here. Maybe close to Wrecker's Point. Yeah, maybe it's Wrecker's Point. Good point, boys. Let's go. Re we'll make the army, then go Wrecker's Point. Do you need yes. to check it with like a an, an army? Do you know if you got to? Do you have to check it with an army, or is a, a hero okay to do that? What is the crown we're looking for? It's a new item. I remain unconvinced. You can do it with a hero. I can find it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Right, I'll send them over to the uh, the other one. I need an army to get it, but can I can I teleport to it? The right general? Yeah, no, yeah. I'll swap him in. I'll swap in the good general. Don't worry. There's no teleport. Ah, makes sense, I guess. Makes sense. Nice. We got Ulrika. Or recruiter. The funny thing is, I accidentally uh, assassinated Ulrich, Ulrika for the first time. I accidentally misclicked and assassinated her on the very first time I played with her. <laughs> I was like, you ain't noggin' off. I was like, not today. Um... What's this bad boy? Control plus 10. God damn it. Wait, why can't I build this? Oh, I'm already currently building it. Sigma. So, let's grab this guy. They will be judged. How I'm close do I need to be to it? Well, the faction capitals can do that as well. Yeah, yeah, you can you can do all the defensive stuff. Yeah. In the province, interesting. 
Sorry, it's, it's becoming a bit of an auto resolve fest. I do apologize, guys. For understanding how difficult this confederation is, it's not that hard. Lewis, it's not that difficult. Like, for example, um, I want to find where the crown is. Uh, right now, we've upgraded the unify ability. So I can literally click on any any empire faction and confederate them. For example, um, Marienburg. I could just confederate them right now. Just like that. Please tell me you're at war with them. No, you're not. Speak, and I will... Tough. I'm going to have to spend a lot of money to defend Marenberg because I greeted like crazy. I'm going to put my really Giga Chad general in here. What does the, Emperor bid? It is time. the Giga Chad general is here. I'm going to go as aggressive of stat line as I can with him. Now. Beautiful. Can I swap him for the crown? Oh, I can. I'll just, as this guy's over here, we'll just combine the armies together and run, to, run towards it. We'll hold hands together. Do not fear. Now. We shall hold hands and get it together. Maybe Mentor would be a good idea now, honestly. Yes. It shall be done. I swear we've been in the province of it before. Great minds. Direct me. Maybe I'm just being dumb. Always a possibility. Be at peace, for that is I'm really happy to see that she's still alive. My peep. Hopefully she can help me. Plan doing a Gelt campaign? Can I actually did a Gelt campaign fairly recently. I did a campaign after... It, honestly, the Gelt campaign is how I realized the video that I cheesed. The video that I cheese is because of the Gelt stream that I did. I figured it out from that. Yeah, it was, it, it was legit because of that. But yeah, it was good fun. But yeah, dudes, I... I'm going to have to call it because I'm, I'm auto-resolving so many battles. I'm just tired. Ooh! Oh my god, we found it! Oh, this game's... Just when I'm trying to leave, it pulls me back in! As I'm trying to leave, it pulls me right back in. No, discipline, Battlesy, discipline. Discipline. It's important to have discipline. Oh. I'm so tired. We'll be getting up bright and early. Uh, making some videos and then, and then doing some more. So do not worry. Do not worry, folks. We'll be playing. We'll be doing more. Mm-mm-mm. Right, folks. La, 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 la. So, yeah, we're going to end the stream here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. You guys are breathtaking. You guys are awesome. I really do appreciate each of you beautiful, fine folks. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your morning, evening, night, wherever you are within the world. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much again uh, for 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. I do appreciate it. You guys are amazing. And never forget that. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting my content. Thank you for supporting my stream. I appreciate all the follows. I appreciate all the love. You know, you guys are goddamn incredible. And I'm so unbelievably blessed to have such an incredible community watching me day in, day out. So thank you for your time, guys. You guys are incredible. Uh, we're going to find somewhere to send you guys off to. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the love. You guys are amazing. And I really, really do appreciate it, guys. So thank you for hanging out. 
Um, we'll be back tomorrow, probably maybe earlier. Yeah, we'll try and do it as uh, we'll try and start as early as possible. But guys, have a wonderful rest of your morning, evening, night, wherever in the world. Take care of yourselves and keep being awesome. Goodbye for now.